T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Another Arcade Talk. Hope everybody is having a great week, having a great night. The weekend is almost here. So hopefully you guys can sit back, relax, enjoy our show. we got two guests on, Phil from PD7 and Mike from the bad guy, Mike Worley. They're going to be on doing RK 1UP Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe Online Gameplay. Let's bring in uh, Papa Brad. Hey, what's, what's happening? Brad? It's what's Arcade on? Talk. Arcade what's Talk. Happening? Already upon us again. I know. Already. Been? Awesome. I've been doing great. We did an iArcadian show last night. Yeah, I saw and, that. Uh, it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, yeah it was a it was a pretty good one. I, I enjoyed it. And Phil yeah, on there, I mean, and breaking down Phil's. I know. I mean, Phil, Phil is 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 the master of the walk and talk. I mean, he's fantastic. I mean, why would yeah. anyone not be subscribed to his channel? It's fantastic. I know. It's I'm awesome. one of my favorite YouTubers. Hey, right. well, thanks everybody for uh, being in here tonight. We got Steps Gaming. We got Biggie D. We got Carla O. We got Brooklyn Menace, Brooklyn the Friday Night Arcade Show, Julie M, Made in Canada. Welcome to the stream. Is that Sanyon Spirits? Thirty-two bit arcade. Oh, nice, nice. Anybody else? That's it. All right, we'll bring our first guest on, Phil from PD Seven. Let's introduce him. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Phil from PD7. Right. There he is. Hey, there you go. <laughs> you guys like that in intro? Talk with me. <laughs> he's he's got to be walking and talking. You know, it's uh, it's it's you know, it's 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 his format. It's amazing. Oh, I know. It's awesome. Thanks. That was a great intro. And thanks, Papa Brad, for last night. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was- we, you know, we all love you at the Arcadians. We're all big, huge fans, you know. And, uh, you know, you know, you're probably getting close to a thousand, huh? I know you've been, your subscribers have been doing great. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, Big ED is getting very close to a thousand. So awesome. we got to get him a thousand first. He's a, he's a lot closer than I am. And I think he's got less than, I mean, we just talked. I think he was at like 91 to go. Yeah. We're, we're you know, the people that are doing positive content are all seeing lots of success. Uh, Nick's reviews got a hundred today. Yeah, Congratulations to Nick's. Wow. Hey, that's cool. That is awesome. Dang. We got to get right. steps to 1500. We got to get Biggie to a thousand. Could get me up to five, man. I'm long yeah, way. We got to get him up to five. And, you know, one time, Phil, me and you were really close together. I think it was like 20 behind you at one time, and you just blew me away, man. No, that's, I'm, still at, I'm still at 430. That, that's because Bobby Boo, Bobby Boo threw in a uh, Killer Instinct cap. So, yeah. <laughs> plus, you know, you you press the uh, you know you press the gas pedal all the way down, just like Papa Brad. You know, when you really put your mind to it, you know, and you do a lot of content, it, it happens fast. It's addicting, isn't it? It's just it is. Sometimes you just want to keep making making videos. I'm thinking of one for tomorrow, maybe Saturday. I mean, as long as Kelly lets me get away with it, we'll see. Yeah, and I'm off for the summer, so it's like, you know, yeah. I can make videos all day, really, if I want to. Okay, guys, we got to get the last guy in here. Let's get Mike in. Let's get Mike in here. Got to get his intro. And introducing Mike from the bad guy. Mike Worley. There is Mike. Right. What's up? That guy is here. <laughs> nice, nice. If you guys enjoyed those intros. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> that voice changer I have, man. Have so far. Yeah. yeah, that robot voice a couple of weeks ago was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> my, my singing there. Darth Vader. That was another one. So I'm getting my money's worth of that thing. So what are you guys up to, uh, Mike? Nothing, man. Ready to play some uh, Mortal Kombat. 
try not to embarrass myself a little bit. Oh, I, 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 I'm going to be the one embarrassing here. <laughs> I don't know, Phil. I feel like you I probably cracked. An NFL blitz sometime. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're pretty even. I think the score is pretty even. Yeah. Okay, we're hey, going to gonna... find out tonight. Um, y- y'all had the uh, Mortal Kombat before the uh, the the input fix or whatever the uh, the patch. Yeah. Have you noticed the difference in gameplay, or is this gonna be your first time playing it like online head to head? Yeah. It's gonna be Mike. What about you, Mike? Yeah, it's gonna be my first time playing online head to head too. I mean, I didn't notice it that much. I mean, probably because I'm not that hardcore. Yeah. You know, it didn't really didn't really affect my game that much. I'm gonna say, I guess. But now, yeah, I'm curious to see how smooth it is. Cool. So you guys haven't played it each other yet? Nope. Here. So. Not for a while. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. We, when when we have twenty arcades, it's <laughs> you know it's hard to it's hard to come back to this. We're kind of doing a, a counterclockwise here. We play a lot of X Men and Simpsons together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You gonna play like first to three or? Yeah, I guess we could do okay. something like that. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Try a couple of the different Mortal Kombat's if you want. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll start up with the uh, with the OG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Won't you start with the first one and work your way up? So it has three on there, right? Uh, four. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Mike, you want to say it? Oh yeah, one, one, two, three, and ultimate. Okay, okay. ultimate on there. Okay. Yeah, I start with the original and I work up and uh, see where okay. we're at. All right, I just got to position some things around in here. Yeah, you want to get it going right away? That would- do you want me to remove you guys or? Sure, if you want. Sure. It's up to you. That no, doesn't matter. I mean, if you got, I don't know if you're gonna have your ass in the camera or something. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Steph's yeah, gaming trying. saying the Penguins are the greatest team of all time. There will be no bad talk about Pittsburgh. Yes. Yeah. Is she a Penguins fan? Apparently, she says the Penguins. There it are is. There's the cup, greatest man. team of all time. The Penguins Cup. I can't argue with that one. Carlos says uh, he lives in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I can say anything I want. I still say Mario Lemieux is the best uh, player. Agreed. Over Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. <clears throat> Mario Lemieux, man, was just a beast, man, when he was healthy. Yeah. the chat, who do you think is going to win at Mortal Kombat 1? Is it going to be Mike coming off with the first win, or is it going to be Phil? Put in your votes in the chat. Let's see. This is probably my worst Mortal Kombat. I don't know about you, Phil. Oh, Mike, you got that thing looking good, man. Yeah, yeah looks, well, I, gotta, good. I don't know if I can turn my uh, camera around. That's good. We can see it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Okay. Just yeah, casual. Yeah, yeah, you're good, Phil. We can see it good. Oops. So, pick it. Who's your All favorite right, player? Uh, who, who are you going to pick, Mike? Uh, pick? Probably Raiden. Okay, we got Raiden. Are you in or do you want me to go in? You go in first because remember we, we tried this before. It's- I it's could connect tricky. to you, yeah. and I wasn't able. You weren't able yeah. to connect to me. That's weird. I, oh, yeah, I, bad Mike. Carlos saying bad Mike has the edge. Bad Mike has the <laughs> edge. One person coming out for. Oh Mike no! Uh, Phil's gonna redeem himself. Oh no, no! I know. Phil's PD seven's terrible at Mortal Kombat. <laughs> All right, Mike. I am too, man. I never played it a whole lot. I am going to China. Jumping in. Oh no, he's getting in the game. Okay. I usually play as Scorpion. That's my favorite one to play as because he's got the 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 um like the rope attack. Get yeah, over yeah. here. Who do you like, Mike? Oh, okay, you're gonna yeah, I'll go with that attack. I love I'll that attack. Me. Carlos says Raiden is his favorite too. <laughs> Made in Canada says Leafs forever. Uh, and they get they need to get lobbies in this. They yeah, they, they really do. I mean, In their lobbies and spectation, I, I watched the video of somebody's. I can't remember who had it, but um, their lobbies in uh, spectate mode looks pretty good. Arcade one up. They need to get on all their. Online. Yeah, if they had HDMI out, that would be a great improvement. Like for people that want to stream the game. That would I didn't be, notice any lag there, Mike. What's that? <laughs> I didn't notice any lag. I didn't either. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So no button lag. No, yeah. not at all. I mean. You can see the screen looks good on on both on both yeah. cabs. Phil's camera might be a little bit more expensive, so his is a little sharper. Oh, but fine. you can see the screen's nice. It's not all washed out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Bill Strudge is just there. There we go. There we go. Get over oh, here. There we go. I was pressing the wrong one. Yeah. yeah, that's me. That's me. Once I figure out that move, that's it. I'm just going to be spamming that. <laughs> but a good Mortal Kombat player would easily know how to. Uh, oh, yeah. That would not be effective. I mean, I'm just amateur. But we see Mike pulling off some lightning attacks with Raiden. Yep. And then when I'm missing, it's not because of the button lag. It's just because of the poor execution. The timing, yeah. Looks good. Now, this cabinet is definitely on my short list of cabs that I want. I'm just waiting for the deal. So, you know, yeah, whenever, you. whenever, you know, one of the YouTubers, whoever puts it up, I'll probably get this cab. This is one I want to get from our one up. Are we, we doing do best of three on each one? Oh, well, I, it's up to you. I don't care. What I do you guys know. want to do? I mean, how much? Ask, let's ask that. How much do you want to see of the first Mortal Kombat chat? Yeah, I feel like the rest of them are better than this one. I mean, that some would disagree, but so at least play one more, and then we'll see what the yeah, chat says. One more. All right. Oh, all right then. Chat, you done with Mortal Kombat one, or you want to see more? Who won the first match? <laughs> Did Mike win or or Phil? My, uh, Mike. Mike, Mike wants some Mike's up one. Okay. You any good with Kano? You keeping track, Papa Bread. Yeah, I'm yeah, all right then. It's good with Kano. <laughs> Fifty dollars not enough. Fifty dollars not enough. Alrighty then. Well, that was luck, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was asking Big D, did he pick up Major Title Two? It's a, a golf game on the I Arcade. Well, I I promised Carl really I was going to pick that up. Played all the way through the game once with steps online. It was pretty fun. How much is that one? Oops. Uh, it's not real cheap, but it's a, but it's a good game. Is it? I like golf games. I can play better golf on games than I can in real life. Mike did a freeze. Mike is sub zero, right? Yeah. Pulled a freeze. Oh, Mike, you got me. Oh. The sliver of life yeah, left. Man. You got one, but. Here we go. Oh. Round three. Oh, I forgot. Round three. This is for the round. Steps Gaming thinks uh, it's under ten dollars now. That's not bad then. That's not bad. That's real good. We intend to sort of pick it up during the sale. Is the sale still going on? I think that's going through the ninth, right? The sale at I, I think so. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow tonight. Well, tomorrow. And we all think it's going to keep going on. I think they'll continue it. So, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, Mike gets one. off a freeze. And it didn't do anything nice with it. Nice jump kick. Yeah, the dude that had that freaking IRK, man, for 70 bucks on Facebook. Won't contact you back. Never got back to me. Ghosted you? Yeah. Uh -oh. Maybe he's probably bullshitting. <laughs> it's too good to be true, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got, we got oh, Mike. Man. That's the second that. one, huh? <laughs> Mike's, right, Mike's up to uh, Let's do Mortal Kombat 2. All right. Now, how do you connect? I didn't see you earlier. So, Does it show up? Can you yeah. See? I can see this right here for available games. Okay. Because there's no lobby out here. This is how X-Men is. And this, Mike and I always talk about this, that we wish. It's so hard to connect when we're playing X-Men. Simpsons, Ninja Turtles, they have lobbies like Street Fighter 2, and you can pick. But, but here, it's easier if I go in, and then Mike will see my name on the bottom there, and he'll join. And then you select the person's name that you want to play against. Okay. Yeah. Did you join? Did you jump in? Yeah, I'm, I'm just in track mode here. Okay. See, I don't know if you can see oh, all this. Yeah. I can see it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Cool. Pretty neat. And I think you yeah, have right? to accept me, right, Phil? Yeah, so I have to press the live button. And then I can ex have to accept or decline. Okay. Ah, okay, that's cool. All right, there you go. I don't know how that worked? I mean, they even uh, you know, I think Killer Instinct's the same way. I think you have to go on the bottom, and but they have the uh, spectate mode, right? So you you have this little eyeball where you can just watch someone. Let's say Biggie D's fighting somebody right now. We could watch him. They should so have that, that on here. So they had spectate mode, but not lobbies on the uh, Killer Instinct. Yeah, why yeah, not? Major Title Two's uh, nine seventy four on sale. I can't believe they don't have uh, the lobbies too. Then on Killer Instinct. I know every game should have lobbies. Mike, I know they, first. 
I know they're saying they're kind of in still in beta, and that's why it's not on all the on all the cabs yet. That's what John D said, anyways. Or it was him or one of those guys said they're kind of still in beta, so that's why they're not on all the cabs. I hope that's the case because I mean, I think it was you, Phil. Didn't you do one of the ones with the head lobbies and spectate mode? Maybe it was your video I watched the other day. Mine? Yeah. Did you did you do one a while back? Um, oh, the killer. Yeah. Yeah, right when they did that uh, firmware update, I did a video covering it. I saw P Dubs, and then I did one. And yeah, that was big for KI. Is is, uh, is Mike Blanco or Raiden? Yeah, yeah, I'm just standing. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking. See, you're talking. I'm I'm busy concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> Mike shoot Mike shooting lightning bolts at him the whole time. He's going to throw me into that acid patch. I, I wish I knew how to pull off a fatality. <laughs> yeah, the two uh, cabinets are like a little, little, little I rock a little bit. Yeah, me right now. They're, they're rocking. <laughs> I don't know. What do you say about there. playing Tubin after this one? <laughs> Pretty close. Pretty close. Finish him. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I don't know. Fatalities. Who won that one, Mike? Yeah. Mike got three in a row. Don't worry, Phil. Baraka was by, my best player. That video you did where you never lose in any of your games. <laughs> like, I never lose with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not always true, but he's the he's the one I know the most moves with. Oh, that was a, that was a funny video. Yeah, it was. That was a good video. I was like, hey, that's how all my games go. <laughs> Just lose it, everything. Yep. Did you just try to throw that acid at me, man? I think so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks looks like it's working pretty good. Uh oh. Wow, I got smoked. I'm actually kind of impressed too that the two screens. Still just one around. Yeah. Yeah, don't hold Tween your it. breath, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Between uh, Mike's screen and Phil's screen, you're going like a half a on, second. Right? Oh, really? Yeah, it, looks pretty, it looks pretty well synced, honestly. Yeah, it's about a half a second That's off. Good. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it's playing great. I mean, I'm sure, Phil, you probably feel That's the same. That's fine for now. online. That's about as good as you're going to get. Yeah, there's no. No delay or lag. Good. Quit punching me in the crotch. Because <laughs> I remember in earlier videos you'd hear it stuttering and skipping, and I mean it looks yeah, like it's running smoothly. You know, you it looks like it's running way better. You hear a button to get pushed, but nothing happens till like a yeah. There's like a delay on some of the inputs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks pretty smooth. I'm impressed that the two cabinets are pretty close together too. So who won that one? That was Mike too. That's Phil. That was Phil. Okay, so Mike's got three. Phil's got one. Y'all want to try a classic game, or you want to do another Mortal Kombat? Which uh, does at least do three. Okay, do Mortal one. Kombat three. Ultimate three. Oh, yeah. Ultimate three. Yeah, let's yeah, check that, that one. out. That's a better one, I think. So I know it's the difference between one and two. Two definitely played better, I think. Yeah, it, it plays. Mortal Kombat yeah. one is hard. I mean, you got to be a master. Yes, you do. I mean, I just won two. Get, come on. I mean, you know how bad I am at this. MK3 or, or Ultimate? Uh, ultimate. I like Ultimate. Yeah, ultimate. Yep. Okay. Yeah, MK3 Ultimate. You get four Mortal Kombats on this cab. Yeah. Yep. With 14 games Like overall. I said, this is, this is one that I want. I like, I'm, this is one I could see making it to Papa Cade. I, I see this going to $3.99 by, by fall. Yeah. You know, it's at four forty nine right Price now. Price will drop. You just have to be patient. And the rest of the games on here play well too. So if you're not even if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, yeah, yeah, I want to see a so classic game. Other can y'all can y'all right. play a quick round of like Joust? Yeah, we can play Joust like or... at the same time yep. while you're playing. Because like the classic games, you can like get the, a four player gauntlet on here. Four player gauntlet would be fire. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be that'd be awesome. I love that game. I do love right gauntlet. Do -do. I actually got it on my Mister Do right now. I haven't played it though. I played it. 
you were you gonna be every time I go to nope. Best Buy, I set a defender high score on the machine wherever <laughs> wherever I play it. Wish my Best Buy had one. Pac Man Legacy, <laughs> that's what mine has. Pac Man Legacy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the Best Buy by me has no arcade one ups, not even one. I was all prepared, man, to go in there and like do a video, like Phil does. Like, go in there, I, know, I was that. all excited. It's like I go in there, there's nothing. <laughs> I was like, nothing. I right, there's a kiosk, here. nothing. I was so bummed, man. I think like, you guys suck. <laughs> okay, we can do that. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Uh, is it saying Spirit says the delay may be the difference we're seeing in each each one's camera tracking quality? Yeah, I believe that's it. I believe that's yeah. it. It looks yeah, pretty well synced. I'm not any lag at all. And you got to remember they're playing online, and, uh, and the cameras I mean, always that's... add a little bit. And sometimes capture cards can slow down it. Uh, yeah. You know, if like on, on some gameplay footage, if it's captured, you might see a slight, slight bit off. Yeah, I mean it's only maybe a half a second. That's it. It's pretty, pretty. Mm, yeah, pretty it looks good. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it looks to me like it was successful. The improvement in the online. I mean, I remember seeing people playing it before with it skipping and having sound Freeze. issues and and yeah. freezing and you know, <laughs> definitely off. Yeah, it's definitely smooth, man. I mean, mm, yeah. I don't see any issues now. I'm glad they finally fixed it. That's great. Uh, you want that one? You, want, you guys want to see gels? Was that Mike or Phil? Mike. Mike's got four. Phil's got one. Dang. Yeah, let's see Joust. Let's yeah, see something classic. Well, what's Mike your What's I... your favorite multiplayer um, online old school game? Mm. It's got Tubin, Joust. What else do they have on it? I mean, you got Rampage, Wizard of War. Yeah. Yeah, Rampage. Yeah, Tubin's online. Wizard of War. And then. Uh, Gauntlet and Joust. Actually, you could each, you could even play somebody in uh, Clax. Clax? Let's see Joust because you'll both okay. be playing at the same time. Yeah, let's see Gauntlet afterwards. Sure. Let's wait for Mike to join in here. Jumping in. Well, that came up pretty quick for Phil. Yeah, I mean, there's absolutely I'm no impressed. likeness at yeah. all. I'm impressed how quick they communicate. Wow. Here to Joust, right. buzzer oh. bait. This is where Phil gets his revenge from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay, worse. we're going to see who the better Joust player is. Terrible. <laughs> that's how see. I heard the Cone of Shame was playing Joust. Yep. Actually, I think I won the Joust tournament. You did. Oh, by the way. It's anonymous by a lot. A great classic game. Ah, oh. <laughs> still like not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I always hit them from the wrong side. I ran into your. It's got to be a little higher than them. Yeah. All right. You're You're facing your enemy. We got Goofy Foot in the chat. What's happening, Goofy Foot? Hey, what's Welcome up, Goofy Foot? The chat. Oh, he changed his uh, thumbnail. Biggie D's watching. We got Steps Gaming. Carlo. So you Blacks know, look good. Sure. They look nice and black. <laughs> Mike's looks purple. Yeah, that's his lights. So he yeah. has one lights on. Yeah, that's don't like that fool you. Yeah, I know. But yeah, the black is pretty black on the uh, field. Those look good. Ugh. The BOE monitor makes all the difference. Yes, it does. On oh yeah. One up. I mean, if it doesn't have the BOE, it's yeah. We're gonna go into like a, uh, gauntlet. Yeah, gauntlet. yeah. Play play a level of gauntlet. That looks awesome. Yeah, it looks like it'd be fun. You guys get a gauntlet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you play as the the thing is is I I we both actually had the other legacy and it was the same games except Clax and Mortal Kombat three. It's just so much better to play Gauntlet with somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, is. it is more fun. I mean, you're by you're yourself. Playing solo is not much fun. No, it gets boring pretty quick. Uh, very boring. Do I have to do anything here? Uh, no. There you are. Wizard shoots the food. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love that. Yeah, we were waiting for uh, Dan from Outrun the Neon Sun. He just moved, and he took Mortal Kombat 2 to his house, so we can all play online together. Ooh. Nice. Who do you want to be, Mike? I'll, I'll be the elf. I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I've ever right, the elf. I'll be the, I'll be the warrior. What do we run in our health? Yeah, up? the warrior. That's what I always liked was a warrior. Yeah, the barbarian. Yep, yeah. that's one. Oh, I just warrior. shot him. <laughs> Got the Conan. axes. Conan the barbarian. That's your enemies. Goofy Foot's playing Robotron. He just scored 129,850. Pretty good <laughs> nice. score. Nice, Carlo. I got the key, so I have to go in. Damn ghost, man. Great classic arcade game from Atari. Has a good greed element. Trying to get the treasures, trying to get the uh, the food. Yep. Later level, death appears to rush you, making it even more right, intense. Yep. Look at all those ghosts. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I know. You hit that. They're all coming. Here they come. Run! It's like oh. zombies. Yeah, Mike, we got to play this one more. This is yeah, great. we do. So wait, I can go off screen. So now we're okay. So we don't have to be on the screen. At the same time. Oh, did I die? Oh, you died. You did die. All right, never mind then. Hey, go to those openings. Yeah, this weekend we should uh, like three hundred. Just get him in the. Uh, yeah, if the other player goes through the exit, I think you just have to wait till the other person that you're playing with goes through. Okay, so you have to both. That works. Yeah. Do it. it does have the level level skips? I always thought oh. that was cool in Gauntlet, where you could yeah, skip. Yeah, right. You, you can go straight to level eight. Okay, so I can just do whatever. <laughs> but you have to wait for me then. Straight to level eight. So is there love? Is oh, there okay. ninety-nine? Was that Phil? Is there ninety-nine levels in Gauntlet? I have no I idea. idea. Top right, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I know. I, I don't think I've ever gotten to the actual end of Gauntlet. If there is an end, Mike, we're gonna find out if there's an end of this game. One of these days. One of these yeah. days. It takes eight <laughs> hours. It doesn't matter. You're gonna be playing for a while. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the the place that I first played Gauntlet was a bowling alley, and it was always like you'd play and then you'd run out of quarters. You know, you'd, oh, your health that. eventually. <laughs> That's one of the great things of having a home arcade. You know, now you don't have to worry about running out of quarters. Right. Oh, like, uh, you know, here I got, I got four quarters. There's only so long you're gonna be able to play Gauntlet on I... four quarters. Okay, so here you go. The levels. Gauntlet has 125 level maps. Jeez. Wow. 125. 114 regular levels and 11 treasure levels. So there's an actual end. Yep. I mean, how uh, much money would it cost you to play this in the arcade to get to get to the end? I of can't the game? imagine. I can't imagine, like, because yeah, like you die so anywhere even close to that. Damage I'm taking it. Like it's unavoidable to get hit. I mean, what does the quarter give you? How many lives? Uh, you that, oh, that's a good question. Just three, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, that's pretty much the standard, isn't it? For any game, it's three lives. Yeah. Oh well, no, Gauntlet's different because it's uh, one oh, coin. One yeah. coin equals yeah, seven hundred health. health. Yeah. yeah. One coin, seven hundred health. So once your health hits zero, you're dead. Okay. Yeah, you, you already have lives. You have health. That's correct. Yeah. Oh god, there he is. I mean, and these guys, these black guys, just yep. take all your life from you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's death. Yeah, death. Death comes and. So, hey, what's up, Rainwaters? Hey, Water Games in the chat. A huge tattoo on my right shoulder. So I think if we go the whole way up here, that's where that door was to unlock. I, I remember no. when we played this with Zohar, and I it took us forever to figure out that. Yeah, I, I like a puzzle. <clears throat> like which way do you get? The, it seems that like it keeps wrapping around itself. Oh boy! Well, there's Where's exit. That? I'm, you know what? I'm going to take this. There we go. How do we get to it? If we just keep going this way? Nope. Hmm. Rainwater says it's tattoo of a Klingon bird of prey. It's cloaked, though. <laughs> That's right. You had uh, Rainwater's uh, yesterday uh, mown, mown grass. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there mowing grass. Looked like he was having a good time. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's a very aggressive mower. He was moving around quick. 
Uh, Kev yeah. asked him how much how much does he charge? Yeah, I did see that. All right, Phil, where did, do we go? I don't know. Did we were we supposed to? Oh boy! Oh, how did I get here? How did I not? Keep... Yeah, this is probably the area you want to be. Well, how did you get in there? I don't know. <laughs> how did you get in there? I have no idea. Here, go in that box. See where you go. Oh yeah, those things. I I was no. playing this the other day, man. I couldn't even find the exit on that one. I found it, but I could never find like the path to get to it. Yeah, you need to be down in here where I was. I have no idea how I got there. I'm, well, I'm pushing go. different directions to try to. Look, it's not even letting me go. I think because what? Went. Now Phil's there. Yeah, how do you not get? That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm almost dead. What the hell is that thing doing to you? It's not... Well, let's there. see. More. There it goes. Finally. What do you want to do? One more game? Yeah, yeah. Which, pick another classic game. What's your guys' favorite games to play? Well, On actually, here? I do Rampage. Yeah. yeah, we can do Rampage. Rampage is cool. Let's see some Rampage. I was doing, uh, we're getting pretty good at they defense. They so good on here, that game. I like Rampage. I got Rampage uh, World Tour on my Mr. Do. Yeah, World Tour is awesome. They both are. Yeah, they're both great. This is the original. Rampage. Eat those humans. George, Lizzie, and Ralph. <laughs> Be the wolf. Unique Did you name. see the Rampage movie? It was a lot better with The Rock. Was I supposed to join you, Mike? I don't know. That was a, oh, that was a lot I, better I than I thought it was going to be. Ahead of myself? Sorry, Phil. No, I never saw the uh, the movie. Yeah, yeah I didn't it's pretty either. good. It's pretty good. You should check it out. It's not bad. Yeah, sorry, Phil. See, I think for I some reason, you, well. you don't come up in the online. Yeah, that's I don't get that. This is So this is the issue. The one issue is I can never join Mike's game. He has to join mine because he never shows up. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know oh. if it's something in my settings that I have. Are you hidden? Maybe. I don't. I don't know. Hmm. I don't. I didn't think you're, so. You're at the main. You're at the main. I'll go in. Yeah, yeah, I'm back I'm in the main. Showing up here. Yeah, because I think you can hide yourself or you know from online. Hmm. I'll have to look even, into it. even my Tron, you can do that because you know Tron's had lead leaderboards. Yeah, you can take you know you you can take your name off. So you, uh, they, you know, they, Mike can join me, but I just I can't I can't join him. What do you want to be, Mike? Be Ralph again. I'll be Lizzie. <laughs> There's such unique names in this game. I love it. <laughs> I'm Lizzie and George. <laughs> George, George always seems like it shows up. George, George, George of the jungle. Lizard. George of the jungle. What's going on here? I don't know. Why isn't it starting? There we go. Was it me? Is it? Maybe. <laughs> That's a... Yeah. One of the unique things is a three-player game too. Yeah. Three-player control setup on the arcade game. <laughs> Each other up. <laughs> Oops, I do that. Uh, even uh, me and Candace says, I don't see your name on the leaderboard. What well, if you're talking about Mike? I got a little bit of lag going here. Yeah, I see a little, that. Little lag. Little I'm bit. not feeling any. I, uh, <laughs> Can't do anything. There you go. Well, maybe they. Am, well, who knows? So, I feel like in, in actually when we were playing uh, Joust, I was moving really slow. I could barely get up, and then my last life, like it, it, the speed, kind of increased. So I don't know. You know, hooked up through Wi-Fi. You never know what you're gonna get with this. 
Does it have Ethernet port on the on the on the cab, or is it just Wi-Fi only? It's it, there's there's a port. Okay, there... so you can if you want to. Yeah. Brooklyn Menace says there is a new Rampage type game in VR. That sounds. Oh, cool. that yeah, that would be fun in VR. Brooklyn, you have to uh, play that one sometime in VR. I'd love to see Imagine it. Imagine doing this in first person. It looks like he was really paddling down that. Train. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of leg going here, Mike. I'm uh, I'm not getting any of it, which is kind of strange. Well, it was kind of a screwy thing the way this started up to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can. Huh. Everything's I mean, very responsive. I didn't see any issues with Mortal Kombat with any of them. No. Nope. Yeah, the Mortal Kombat's played great. Get those choppers. Uh, that's pretty funny. Steps says, don't make me want to buy the Midway cabinet, guys. <laughs> it is uh, These things are so addicting. You yep. know, they just, you just, look, I mean, that Shack, yeah. Shack Jam today for $3.99. Yeah, Bozo that? Calvin picked it up. Bozo Calvin picked that one up today at Best Buy. Unbelievable. What a deal. Are you going to get it, Phil, or are you waiting for a lower price? I, I'm, I, I'm convinced. They're going to have a lower price eventually. I so. agree. I think sometime in the summer. Yeah. Don't forget about Black Friday in July. There's a lot of sales yeah. coming yet. Yeah. But right now, I mean, you know how much I love Arcade 1-Up, but right now, all I want to do is just another month of just picking up as many iArcade games as I can, just in case whatever happens, just playing it safe. Right. I yeah, just don't just yeah. add games. Get your collection righteous. Yep. So no matter yep. what, you have a great you have a great arcade. I don't have to get rid of any arcade cabinets for that. I could just keep adding games mm -hmm. to that. And you know, for again, seven, nine dollars a game. I mean it's not bad. Nope. Yeah, awesome. this, is a good, uh, this is a good one to have. Mike, we're gonna have to play Gauntlet this weekend. Yeah, I think so. That looks awesome. Well, thanks for showing off the uh, MK Deluxe gameplay with the new online. Looks like it's working good. It did. I mean, yeah. I think I, you know, if we would have went back into ramp live demo, probably would have played a little bit better. I mean, we're just the, you never know what you're going to get with online. No. Yeah, yeah, nothing terrible. Yeah, yeah, no. and that can happen with the even PlayStation games, PC games. Right. It's just you know the internet. Especially, yeah, uh, it's mercy. Yeah, especially Wi-Fi. Just never know. But yeah, I think that was a uh, pretty much a success there, man. I I didn't see any lags at all. The screens, I was impressed. The screens were almost synced. It was probably like maybe a half a second, if that, um, between your two screens. Which uh, I was impressed with that. I'm surprised. No button lags. No. They definitely no, I, uh, fixed it. It was good. Yeah. They played good. <clears throat> it's just too bad there's no uh spectate mode number one and no and no lobbies because it yep. would just be easier to find each other. Yep, yeah. it would. I feel like that would definitely boost the online crowd if it had that. I, I it definitely would. It's pretty it much out. the same thing like I arcade. You just have to look and like you know, contact a friend, say, look, I'm gonna go play. If you want to play with a friend, you know, I mean yep. you know, tell them look, I'm gonna go play online, like, you know, open a room, you know. Exactly. I mean, Big E D and I played through uh, Warrior Blade. We just double dragon too. We just called each other and said, "Hey, you know, yeah, just message each other or call each other, and boom." You're yeah, that's off. what I do with Mike. We, we, yeah, we, hey, we're going on X Men. Okay, I'll meet you there. Yep. It's actually yep. better too, because like when when you play with random, I I know this has happened to you before in games. You get like halfway through the game and they quit. 
And there's yeah. nothing worse. Like when you're playing like a beat em up or something that's long, like it's maybe like 45 minutes long yep. and you're like 20 minutes in and they just quit, you know? Yeah. You know, our problem, Phil, you know, when we have three players on X-Men, that fourth player joins about halfway through with bad internet and it just messes the whole thing up. Slows it all down. It's yeah. half an hour of progress. We're oh, <laughs> we were like a board away from finishing it. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> came in and just glitched us all out. <laughs> oh, welcome, uh, Arcade Amy. Welcome, welcome. YouTube suggested, suggested this, and Papa Brad is here. Subscribing. Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. We had to get Tim to 500. Slowly working my way up there, man. MK2 looks great, which looks better than MK2 Deluxe or the Dragon's Layer 1 up. Tough call. It's not a tough call, man. It's that Dragon's Layer, like right behind me. Well, they're different. They're different era types of games. Though. One's totally. a, one's a '90s fighter, and one's a retro, you know, laser disc game. They're pretty different categories. The cabwise, no. cabwise Dragon's Layer is beautiful. Have you yeah, one Dragon's Layer. They did a great job with the cabinet. I agree. Have either one of you finished Dragon's Layer? Have you beat it? Yeah, I've beaten it before. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I got. Yeah, I have a video out there beating it. Oh really? I'll have to look it up. Yeah, it's out there. I, I think it took me. I had five lives on there. I think I took four, so I beat it with four wow. lives. What about Space Ace? Space Ace is tough, well, man. And Dragon's Slayer <laughs> Two is really hard. I mean, like I have yeah, them all Dragon's on my arcade. Two, harder, man. Dragon's Slayer I mean, Two is no joke. I mean, like I mean, uh, yeah. for a laser disc game, it's a lot harder. Yeah, I do. I really haven't Space spent Ace a whole lot of finished, time but with Space Ace. I've gotten Space Ace. I think is harder order. to me. Yeah, Space or, yeah, Space Ace is a little harder. I think Dragon's Lair Two is even harder. Yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot about Dragon's Lair Two. I was thinking about buying Space Ace just to have it, just to have it on the I Arcade. I would one hundred percent say buy buy all three Laserdisc games. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. really they're really great versions to have on I Arcade. Yeah, they're worth it, man. They're beautiful. They're I mean, all three nothing else, you could just put the attract mode on in your arcade. I, I, I know. It, and people just stand by it and watch it. They're like, they're mesmerized it's by it. You know, what is this? You know? <laughs> yeah, it's like a cartoon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The first time I ever saw Drag's Layer, man, I was like, look, man, I can actually control a cartoon character. This is awesome. Then I got in the game. I'm like, damn, this thing fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, sure it takes is. 50 cents. So I didn't play a whole lot because I was like, man, I could play two games for this one mm -hmm. game, man. I could play Galaga for half an hour. Or I could play this for like two minutes, for two yeah. seconds, you yeah, know, yeah. a minute, a minute, and all your lives are gone, you know. <laughs> I mean, well, that's, the, that's the thing about NBA Jam is like you, you, you play the game. It's I mean, what is it? Ten minutes, twelve minutes. It's a quick game. I mean, some of the sometimes that's all you need. It's just a couple of minutes, twenty minutes playing something, and then you know you get back on with everything. Some of those beat em ups are really long. Yep. Yeah, that's why you need three, four people to play them. Yeah. Keep, it keeps you interested. Yeah. I, I, True. A couple of nights ago, I just had the urge and I played through uh, Knights of the Round on Big Blue. And that's a quick one. If, if I compare it to Cana Dragons, uh -huh. the other Capcom, that's a lot longer of a game. It's almost twice as long. It's nice mm -hmm. when you can beat a game and like, and that's how uh, Alien Storm was on the IRK. It was like twenty eight minutes, thirty minutes. Yeah, you yeah. The game. I was like uh, that Golden Axe. I, I was surprised at how short it actually was. Really? Yeah, about half the half of the length of X Men or, or Simpsons. What about uh, oh, yeah. the other oh. one, Revenge of yeah, Death Matter. Matter? That one's a little bit longer. That that's one that would be really nice to to have online on. Yeah, it's a shame the cabinet doesn't have. Yeah, off. I've got the big blue. I haven't played the beat em up all the way through. We should play Knights of the Round sometime, Brad. Yeah, I need to. I'd like That'd to do be that. Fun. That's why I bought this cabinet. This is going to sound terrible. I bought Big Blue because it, you know, it looked great, and I wanted Knights of the Round. I mean, I I don't play much Street Fighter too. That's yeah, a fun I, beat em up game. I bought I bought it for Dark Stalkers three. And like no one's ever in that lobby. That's like that's like <laughs> no. the most empty lobby. Like I, I don't ever. I don't think I've seen anyone in the lobby ever in that game. But I do love Dark Stalkers Three, um, Vampire Savior. But um, 
I don't think I ever Battle played Toads that. played really good. I played all the way through Battle Toads on a Killer Instinct cab. Yeah, me too. Um, that's, a long- that, 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 that's a long beat em up. That one's going to be one of the longest ones I've played. Yeah. How did those, you see those speed runs? Somebody beat that in like, I don't know, 17 minutes. Crazy. What, what codes are they putting uh, in I don't. There? I mean, I don't know oh, if the yeah. arcade is anything like the, the NES, but there, I know in the NES, there's glitches you can exploit to fly past levels and you know, past there's there's warps and stuff like that. that. But 17 minutes, wow. It might even be shorter than that, Mike. It, it's crazy. That, that's nuts. It's too bad you didn't get that cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> Sore subject. Which one? Killer Instinct. Oh, Killer Instinct. Oh, you got you got one of the one of the um letters. I got you got the, you got the virtual got the high, five. high five. Yeah, my hands. Got the virtual high five. It still stings a little from that high <laughs> five. It still stings a little bit. Yeah. Well, it doesn't sound like there was that many of them. No, nah, probably not. No, I don't think there was, but other retailers still have them. So I mean, there's going to be another sale. I just don't think we're going to see it for 150. No. I no. think two ninety nine is pretty safe. Mike, you, know. you ever check on uh, Facebook Marketplace? Sometimes, yeah. I think that's yeah. where I've gotten a couple of my cabinets. Actually, I got NBA Jam, brand new for two hundred bucks. I thought I saw Killer Instinct up there, not too much money, but I can't remember. I think it just depends regional where you live. Mm-hmm. I have a heck of a time selling anything in Wisconsin. Corner yeah. Kate has had success. He's he's told me that. He's gotten, you know, really good money for a lot of his arcades, and I don't, I don't run into that luck. I just saw last week. I can't remember which game it was. I think I told Papa Brad about it. Um, some woman was selling one of the arcade one ups without a riser for fifty bucks. Really? Dollars? Yeah, I can't remember what game. Oh, yeah. it was. Oh, I told you about that. Too. Do you remember yeah. what game it was? I can't remember which game. I think it was Pac Man. Was it Pac Man? It, it might have been, been Pac Man. We figured it might have been a rage, uh, <laughs> the divorce or something. Let's <laughs> get out of here. This has got to go. It might be one ni- I'm the ch- It might be one ninety nine. I'm just saying it's it's safe to say that there's going to be a lot of two ninety nine sales, but one ninety nine if the retailer really wants to just get rid of it. Yeah. But I, th- the two cabinets that I'm interested in, everyone knows Shack Jam, Golden Axe. If, Two ninety nine, like that. Two ninety nine, three fifteen. They drop that low. I'll pick them up. Yeah, it's hard to say no. Yeah, when they go it, down mean, to three hundred dollars. Yeah, that's their average price, price for me. Yeah, that's usually the price where I like that. Really that's when they become a buy right there at the three hundred dollar mm-hmm. price. Yeah, I'm I got my to buy an arcade as I can. That's going to be my goal for the next month. I want Sega games, and, that, and that's why I want Golden Axe. Get my Pac Man, my Pac Man Legacy back there. I get that for one ninety nine. Yeah, that's a good price. I mean, I think they had a shitload of them. Yeah, if you like oh. Golden Axe, you should check out a uh, Silk Road while it's on sale. Phil, it's Silk a Road school. plays a lot like Golden Axe One. Okay, and it's a, it's a cheap game. I think it's like four or five bucks. Step says three ninety nine. Live stream of it. Step says three ninety nine for Sack Jam might be the best we see. I. I, I agree. I know what you're saying, but I'm telling you, I have a huge feeling we're gonna see that for 315 range. It's coming. Maybe July. Between now and uh, the end of July, I think we're gonna see another another sale on that. That means you're getting it right. The shack yeah, James and the lock form that. Fa- factor. That. Here's my plan. I said this. I said this to Alex T. In, in, in one of the comments today, I will buy Shaq Jam for three fifteen or less, and I'll sell my NBA Jam and I'll buy golden a golden axe and put it where NBA Jam is. That's my plan. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Doesn't your NBA Jam have like a, a Sabo's marquee and stuff though? Yeah, but I mean, your, your your NBA Jam is like decked out. Whoever gets I that know. cab is getting the deal of the century. But Shaq is just so big. Like, it's just bigger. Yeah. I look at my golden Form factor is different. It's just, I was talking to Biggie about this yesterday. Mm. It's just such a big cabinet. Can you, you can't swap out your marquees with the, to the MBJ and Shaq, or is it the Shaq? It's going to be just like that. a lot bigger, right? Is yeah. it? I'm bad. 
save us. Oh, so yeah, it'd be like it. You know, the Sable Marquis are a little better than what we're seeing in the Deluxe, but the Deluxe are a step up. I mean, yeah, Brad, you're, 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 you're Marvel versus Capcom too, Brad. That's a decent marquee. Yeah, yeah, it you know, looks good. Big blue, it's a great marquee. I mean, they're 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 okay. They're kind of hit and miss, you know. Yeah. It's just the ones where they use a sticker that yeah. all look all washed out usually. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you have fast the killer experience. instinct, yeah, killer instinct is one of the worst. Killer instinct looks so bad. Like I don't have a custom marquee for mine. Every time I look, you know, but it, the marquee is just like, ugh. A well, freaking Tron, man! They use paper that on black. that one. <laughs> That's bad. On cabinet, it looks so nice, like Tron. Just ruin it with that garbage marquee. I mean, it was paper, man. It wasn't even plastic. That Tron uh, marquee was paper. <laughs> like, paper. You gotta be kidding me! I paid all that money for a paper. Freaking marquee. I think it was a pain in the ass to get off. I kept ripping <laughs> off and all that. I did a little bit of a video on it. You just see, it's just falling all apart. Did you use the hair dryer on that? Yeah, but it just <laughs> didn't come off because it was paper. It was, it was paper thin, man. I mean, it was the thinnest paper I've ever seen in my life. PD7 makes it look easy. I've watched his videos when he's switching on his marquees. He makes it look easy. It is easy. Well, when, when you have the plastic... That Simpsons one I did left so much glue or whatever that was. It looked like melted adhesive. Cheese. Yeah. I, I think of the other ones that there was nothing like left, but that Simpsons, for some reason, there was, there was some melted. Yeah, I had problems with my X-Men. I, I remember I had goo gone and I was trying to take that stuff off. Yeah. Well, my, there was a lot. You can't, you can't tell Mike, you know, you, you, you clip that over you, it. You're right. You're totally right. I, I didn't have to get off every single molecule of, uh, that adhesive because that the Sabo's marquee just covers it right up. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I'm so glad they went over the, the slip ons. So, yeah. So what are you going to do? Are you going to buy a new marquee for your Pac-Man now because it bled through? Uh, I'm not sure. You, right now you look at it back there. You can't really see it. What I did is I pulled the, pulled the sleeve. Floor. Yeah. You can't really see it now. So. But yeah, I haven't decided. I might buy a Pac-Man, but I mean, it's sixty-two bucks. I know. You know, not sure if I want to pay pay another sixty-two bucks. <laughs> I know. I I'll tell you what, though. I love the clip on marquees. Those are my favorite. Oh, you don't have to take anything apart. Yeah, That's they're what really the Star Wars easy. took, huh? The Star Wars a clip on? Yeah. Mine is. Yeah. Yeah, mine is. It's nice too, because if you ever want to swap it out, you can. You just pull it off and put another one on. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, like Sable sells like Star Wars, man. They have like three or four different ones. It's kind of neat. You ever see that one? Yeah, I saw they have one. It, it looks like something not lit up. And then when you light up, it's another picture. Sables have those ones. Those yeah, are pretty good neat. Stuff. I like that Star Wars mod. We were talking about that in the studio before we went live. I'm I got I mean, this is going to sound like a sin, Mike. Don't don't kill me. I never play the Star Wars. I, I want that mod on here. Yeah. It just it just, it just adds so much more replayability for me on there. Yeah. Well, and if you had somebody else, I mean, you could, you know, they link up with your uh, Bridge Racer. Certain games. That'd be pretty. Oh cool. yeah, That'd That'd pretty cool. Think up, yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. games is not is not that many. I mean, even it's though not. they're great, even though they're great. I mean, yeah. Just I'm, I'm just games. afraid of. I saw what happened to Outrun when I did it and the original games that were on the cabinet weren't emulated perfectly. Yeah. yeah. So it, it uh -huh. I, I would hate to ruin the star, the three star Wars games. Yeah. yeah. They really play good. Yes. Or, with the arcade you know, according to arcade or buy stuff. Oh, arcade, Mystics. They actually did some work to the original star Wars on their mod. And they said it runs and plays better than, Arcade went up for it. Yeah, I think I left that comment. I don't remember who I was talking to, but they actually commented back to me directly and said that same thing that, that the Star Wars games emulate perfectly. Yeah, because they uh, actually did some work on that for some reason. Because he was on, uh, they were on Kong or us. Maybe that's he, where it was at. Yeah, and he, they were uh, talking about it. So, like, yeah, Star there. Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Revenge, uh, revenge, I mean, Return of Return the Jedi. Of Jedi. Revenge! Where's the revenge? Why don't you say revenge? That was the original. That was the original. Return of the Jedi. Um, I don't know. There's some about that game. I don't revenge enjoy it as Jedi. much. Nah, as, as neither do I. I've, I've tried getting into it just because I haven't played it a whole lot, but it's it's tough. You start getting yeah. into the speeder bike, or I mean the uh, 
the, the later levels of the speeder bike where the walkers come at you and you're flying. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, it, it, it is tough. I can't get past that part. I can get past the first part and then uh, the Falcon, and then I always get stuck on that. I made it. As soon as I get into the Death Star, it's over. <laughs> it's just too much going on. I don't even get that far. Yeah, I don't, th- I don't know if I've blown up the Death Star on that. I've never again. blown it up. Made I it there. You could on that one. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> never got close. Did the, ori- did the original Return of the Jedi have the flight yoke? Is that yeah, the yeah, it had the flight yoke. How did you think the pedals work? So there's two different options for the mod. Do there were some pictures where the pedals looked like there was like a, a notch cut out on the riser, yeah. or there were some that just like stick in front of it. Yeah, they they yeah they had two that you could buy like the ones like. Uh, like the flat flat pedals, they're not supposed to get in your way. Or you can get the ones I think like Arcade One Up used, and then they actually have the adapter if you want to buy the Logic Tech yeah. pedals, which are like probably the best ones. Um, you can get the adapter for those and another brand. I think that one brand where you can uh, mount it like upside down. Um, yeah, I forget what brand that is, but you have an adapter for that too. Yeah, that's great. Those flat, those flat pedals just don't look good to me though. Have you saw those flat pedals? Well, I'm just kind of leaning towards it. You know, I, oh, you were? Oh. Well, okay. I don't know. I, I'm just yeah, looking for a man. quick plug. <laughs> just put them down there. Yeah, they said they they, they did those flat ones because I guess they don't uh, get in your way when you're trying to play other games. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that well, I'm sense. definitely interested in that mod. Yeah, I'm interested too. If it wasn't for getting that game's pinball, I would already got it. But since I'm saying well, that up- mod- pre-order, isn't it? Is it officially out? No, nah, it's pre-order still. Yeah. Yeah. What's that pre-order that- came out last week, last week or week before it came, the pre-order came out. So I imagine it'll at least be a couple months. Yeah. When, when, when it's official, I'm, I'll get it. I got one spot left, man. I got room for my or at one or at games pinball over here. And then my room's pretty much yeah. done. Wanted to get that Pac-Man uh, Deluxe. Yeah, if I get the Deluxe, I'll just have to uh, – my Pac-Man back there, I'll have to uh, take the PCB out of it and put it in the Deluxe. Did you get that coin door installed on there? Nope. No. Nope. It's still not there. It's down here. I have, the, I have the Namco Legacy for my Pac-Man, and then I put in a Sanwa four-way joystick. So like it's all modded, so like it, it plays so good. Like I don't want to change it, you know, because yeah. I have it all decked out and the gameplay is perfect. So. Nice. Yeah, the deluxe just looks so cool though. But if I do cool. get the deluxe, I'm still keeping the Pac-Man riser. I'm gonna put it on the Pac-Man riser because it'll bring it up to uh, the same height as my Tron back there, which my Tron is 66 inches, I do believe. Wow. So Dragon's Layer 66 too. Yeah, yeah, I got them all. So you can see it like Pac-Man paired all the other ones. They're all so much taller. They're all, but they all play nice, man. Because I could sit there and the control deck's not too small, you know. You, like Pac Man, I have to like crouch down and play the damn thing, or you know, play it on a stool. It works out for me because I'm so much shorter than you guys, you know. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's like my Dragon's Layer, man. I never even took, I never took the riser out of the box. Really? Yeah, I got the custom riser on my Dragon's Layer. It's a uh, 16 inch or 18 inch. I can't remember. Yeah, I got I got them all on extenders, man. Except for Dragon's Lair, actually bought a riser. No. But I love the heist on them now. I don't mind the risers. No, I don't either. Neither do I. I, I I'm I'm more for bigger cabinets, but I'm not gonna like get rid of mine just because they have a riser. That's not going to be like a reason to get rid of one. No. Of yeah, that's yeah. not going to be the only reason. Like the only reason I upgraded to the Mortal Kombat Deluxe was for the online. Right. More, exactly. more than any, more than anything. I mean, the cabinet looks nicer. Don't get me wrong. But that's yeah, kind the of online where I'm at with my pot with my Pac Man too. Like you know, I just don't need to replace it. You know. Yeah. I mean, right. Unless you I have could, a real I could, reason. I mean, I don't really don't need to. You know, mm-hmm. it's like. Yep. So. Yeah, I mean, look look at the, uh, the marquee. Behind Mike there for the Mortal Kombat 2, man. It's not bled out or nothing. No, and that's yeah. stock. Yeah, the Mortal I mean, Kombat yeah, 2, I really like. Good. You can see the Star Wars one, which I thought was good. Yeah. <laughs> see the difference? It's a big light blur. 
Yeah, all I can mm. see is a little bit of a blue. Mm-hmm. Even Phil's one looks good. Yeah, I mean, you definitely tell the difference between the they, new marquee. Yeah. yeah, Sables does a great job. They just add up. Somebody told me yesterday that it's going to cost them $400 to change out all their marquees. I said, just do two or three every two months. Yeah. Just spread it out. Don't think of it like that, you know? Don't yeah. look at the picture. Yeah, it, it adds up. It does add up. Well, I bet. Well, thanks for having us on. We had a good yeah, time. Man. No problem, man. Guys, you checking out? Yeah, Mike and I are going to play some gauntlet this weekend, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think we yeah. definitely need to do a run of gauntlet, or at least see. See how far we can make it. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of snow, man. How, uh, how far you guys get? We will. Hopefully you guys get quite far. Thanks a lot for coming on the show. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, guys. Thank definitely. you for last night. Awesome. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us. Oh, yeah. Yep, no problem. Yeah, if I didn't have to get up so early, you'd hang. <laughs> 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. rolls around pretty quick. Yeah, Mike and I get up at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I get up around noon, man. Oh. <laughs> I texted you this morning, and I'm like, when's Tim going to respond back to me? Are you sleeping? He's just rolling out of bed. <laughs> Brad's up early. How you do it? You are up so early. You're one of the first to comment if I put something on at like 4 in the morning. I know. I don't roll it. I don't roll out of bed at 12. It's like 10, 30, 10. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't have no I'm dog walk. Yeah, because dog yeah, walks when, don't start until noon. When school's in, like I'm up, I'm up at five. So yeah, my son's not in school anymore, so I don't have to get up early anymore. And oh, dog man, walks, I'll enjoy it. Yeah, dog walks start about noon and go to uh, about four. It's got a four four hour day. Means tough. Ugh. Yeah, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little rough. It used to be longer than that before COVID. Man, it was eleven to six. Woo. That's, that's seven hours. Tough, yeah, that's a tough one. That's like your whole day, you know? You, yeah, six is, yeah, that's, that's it's too late. Yeah. But that's about back when I was walking 13 dogs a day, man. 13 dogs walks. I was in shape back then. <laughs> Unless they had just huge calves. Oh, I still do, man. <laughs> I still walk a decent amount. Yeah, I got a freaking gut, man, but my freaking legs are so damn skinny. <laughs> my calves are like big, you know? It's like, why can't my gut freaking go away? I quit drinking beer about a year ago. It's, it's they say that the the gut man is the hardest thing to get rid of. Yeah, I know. I and if you drink it. any soda, like I I I've been eating bad again. It's tough. It's it's Once tough. You start doing it. it. Yeah. I, I, that, I, I think the fast food is what does it, man. That belly fat is so freaking hard to get rid of. I mean, I have no fat anywhere except my stomach. Freaking ah, oh, so irritating. You know. I've been walking, you know, I walk those dogs and then I come home and get on the bike and uh, do that for another 20 minutes. I've lost a little bit of weight finally, but damn, it's like, you gotta be Big fucking kidding me. And you're your worst critic, you know, cause you're staring mm. at yourself and you're, you just beat yourself up and it's, a, it's tough. It takes forever. Yeah. Well, it didn't take forever, man. When I was in my twenties, when I was lifting all the time, I was trying to gain weight so I could <laughs> add muscle weight. I couldn't do it. I'm eating it all the time, man. Yeah, it's totally different back then. Yeah. I could eat dinner, have uh, I would eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, have two medium pizzas after dinner. <laughs> Couldn't gain weight. Couldn't gain weight. Now Couldn't you look food. at a pizza and you and you gain uh, weight. Yeah. <laughs> and now I try to stay with I try to do four or less slices, man, and it doesn't freaking work. I know. That's uh, that's the tough part. Yeah. It is tough. Well, hey, thanks, guys, for uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, guys great. Thank you. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. I had Take it care. all the time. I appreciate it. Anytime. Good night. Great night, guys. See ya. Bye. See ya. What are we talking about next, T? Well, I guess we're going to ha- have to leave the PS2 games till next week because it's uh, almost 10 30, man. I know. Wow. So I guess it's time wow. for Arcade Wars. So we're skipping the PS2. We're going straight into Arcade Wars. Let's do it. Welcome to Arcade Wars. All right. 
It's Cade time Wars. for some arcade wars. Let's Cade blow some stuff up. Oh, you turned your uh, lights back on? Oh, yeah. What category are we doing today? Might oh, yeah. even turn on. We are doing 1980s. 80s racing games. 80s racing games. They're going to blow up. Blow up. She's blowing up good. She's blowing up. All right. Real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that part a lot. It blew up real good. That's what we're doing right now. We're going to be doing, up man. Up real good. Okay, so so what what calves do we have? What are the first two first two um on the block? Which cab is better? What are our <coughs> first two contestants two for contestants arcade wars? Is power drift and super sprint. Power drift versus super sprint. Super sprint sprint is from 1986. And power drift is from 1988. 1986 and 1988, two racers going head to head. Do you uh, play any any of them? No. Upright? I might have played Power Drift. I have to see it. Uh, I played Super Sprint. Let's see where they at. Okay, here's Power Drift. I've talked about driving games before, though. But for me, driving games, like because I drive in the car so much, the last thing I want to do when I get home is drive. I don't play a lot of driving games. Okay, it was sad. Two hours of commute time every day. Not right now, though. Not right now. Not right now. I need to start playing driving games. Yeah, that's what you need to start do, playing though. my Ridge Racer cabinet. I barely, you know, I can't even get past the second race on that cabinet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Power drift. Here's power drift. Nice side art. Mm -hmm. You got the the bezel. You have actually have all the um, different tracks. I don't know if that thing works on by the steering wheel, the RPMs and speed. Goofy Foot says he's with me. Can you tell it's Sega? Yeah. Looks like a Sega game. Here's your Sega music. Yep. There's the front again. Sega Power Drift. The Sega. Could you tell us Sega, man? <laughs> stand-up arcade. Yep. Driving yeah. Driving game. I, I made sure they're all stand-ups. They're all stand-ups. Okay. Hey, what's up, Mel? What's up, Sam Sam? Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to the stream. So there's Power Drift. Power so Drift. So well, side guys, pretty Sega cool. game. Yep, Sega, yep. And then we're going with Super Sprint. Well, what the hell did I do? Dang it. Hit the wrong name button. Super Sprint. Okay. There's Super Sprint. Is, he has a long drive to work. Oh, let me, let's drive this over. Cheryl. Okay, here so we go. There's side Look art. At that three wheels. How cool is that? Three wheel race game. And there's the front. You really get to see the three different steering wheels. Look at that. <laughs> that is that a pretty bulky cab. I mean, <laughs> that that's that's got a little bit of a 70s vibe, huh? With those racing stripes. And that's from what I say, super sprint. You said 1980s. Is this the one that was 1986, yeah. 1986. Looks like it could be 1976 with the graphics, though. Very it's 70s Atari. looking. It's but Atari. it's Atari. Atari was known for that style with their with their early racing games. So the bezel and marquee is all in one, which is kind of uh -huh. pretty, pretty unique. Get some gameplay in here. Different tracks. I don't know. I always love these kind of racers in arcades, though. These are hard, you man. Know, like the like this style where you have the track and it's the overview. It was hard though, man, because you keep hitting the walls. I know. These games. I remember playing this game. I do too. This game was fun. There it is. Yeah, it is. It was a fun game. Look at that side art, man. 
pretty pretty cool cabinet. Pretty cool. So you got super sprint, super sprint versus power drift. Power drift. So let's one. pull up. Let's see what's gonna win. Biggie D says he remembers seeing this game at the rolling rink. The rolling rink, nice. You can okay. spin those wheels like a top. Rainwater Game says, I wish they would combo this with off road and make it into an arcade one up. Yeah, that would be awesome. The old arcade one up game would be cool. Your arcade. They have to use those wheels that turn all the way, that spin all the way around, like they have a pole position in those type of game. Which cab do you like better? Power Drift. Versus, was it Super Sprint? Power Drift versus Super Sprint. Yep. Pole's yeah, open. The pole is open. Boat. There's Boat. power. There's power drift. You know, I'm, I don't. I'm not sure if there was um, like the RPM. I think they're just decals. I don't think that. I don't think they move, huh? Yeah, I know. Some of these do. And some of these calves I found today, but I'm not sure about this one. I'm with you. I think they're just decals. Yeah, I think they're just decals. I mean, you really can't tell there either. Does have a shifting gear? Has brake and gas. For power drift super sprint did that have yeah it looks it like at least the, the gas it has the pedals i can't get that thing to go i mean yet. for me i would I, I mean i'm like sam sam's arcade he's saying super sprint all day i would have to say for me that would be my vote super sprint i mean i just love those three steering wheel arcade racers Especially the ones with the like the over the top view like that, where you're looking down on the race. It's almost like they're uh, slot cars or something. But it's no. not. It's just yeah, a cap. I like that old school Atari game Indy 500. It uses a special paddle that you can turn like a wheel. And you know, but I like this kind of, that format. Yeah, I fun. like both, I like both cabinets. Both mm -hmm. cabinets are nice, but unique wise, got to go with Super Sprint at least for me. <clears throat> Especially for a, a three, three steering wheel cab. I like the way the one. colors are like blurring behind the cars. It's almost like the Tron light cycles. The way they're leaving the line behind them with the graphics. It's pretty slick. What on Super Sprint? Yeah, check out the way they're running like the like behind them. They have, they have like the blurs. Oh, yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just so you get blue. Let's see, we're looking at, I mean, this is this, this is a this is a complete domination. Super Sprint's got 90 percent, Power Drift has got 10 percent T. I think it might be time. I don't think that that's not going to flip. Now it's 82 to 18. 11 votes. Yeah. Yeah. You just voted power drift. You voted power drift, didn't you? <laughs> You're busted. <laughs> You're like, who, who voted for You're busted, T. <laughs> who were you? You wanted to deadlock. <laughs> <laughs> it's still it's still it's still, it's still like an overwhelming vote for super sprint yeah i gotta stop doing that because i need to be the deciding factor at the end if we get so we don't have to do these 50 50s anymore i could yeah. be the deciding that factor that idea actually yeah i need to be the deciding so i can't vote until the very end if we have a split I mean, this this but, does have like the classic atari arcade look too. yeah I'm sucker for I, that I, no I, I just voted because i knew there was like no chance it would uh, <laughs> power drift would come back. 
That's pretty good, though. Andy is reminding everyone, if you have an iArcade and you don't have Batsugan SP, which I do agree is one of the best shmups, shoot-em-ups on iArcade, $5.99 sale right now. There is no excuse not to get Batsugan SP, the final Toplin game. And she is 100% correct, and she has a great gameplay of that on her channel as well. Batsugan is a must-have if you like shoot-em-ups. $5.99 is not bad. Yeah, it's... Toplin's last game. Toplin's known as people that really love shmups. They kind of have a soft spot in their heart for that brand already, and that's their last one. Really great game. Okay, make it official. Make it official. It's time. Ooh. Blew up real good. That's it. She's blowing up good. She's blowing up. All right. Real good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that part a lot. Oh, well. Hope you guys like my, my voiceover there. That was me. Dude, doing I love that, voices. man. That John Candy, huh? Like uh, City Pop, Television. Pop Brad said, now I might get, you know, a claim on it. So I'm like, yeah. oh, let's do the overlay. Yep. Celebrity blow up. So now we can't get a claim on it since it's my voice. Okay, next one is Grand Prix. Old school says, love that explosion. <laughs> Grand Prix, which is a 1969. The Super Sprint's seven. moving on. Yep, Super Sprint's moving on. We got Grand Prix versus Grand Hang, Prix Hang On. Versus Hang On, the Sega Classic. I had to throw this uh, Grand Prix in. It's from 1969. It's not 80s, but. I thought it was a really cool cabinet, so I had to put it in there. Okay. So, dude, hang on. Yeah, totally unique. There's Sega Hang On, another Sega. Yep, classic Sega motorcycle game. Motorcycle handles. The Retromania has the DLC, Biggie D. They have the DLC. They have the extra wrestlers in there. There it is again. See, I think, I think those uh, the RPMs and spirit, uh, miles per hour might work on this game. I think something happens with that. They actually have this game at Wayback's Arcade because they look like they move. Yeah, they definitely move there. Yeah, yep. cool. I mean, cool. Hang On's a classic. I mean, who doesn't love Hang On? I mean, this is such a fun game. The the feeling of speed. You know, they had that version too where you tilt the motorcycle. Yeah. The big, the big version, you know, the big version with the motorcycle that tilts. Yeah. Um. You know, I always like playing those if they have them. But this, this is cool to see the stand-up version. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, you even have a break. I didn't even realize you had a break right there too. <laughs> yeah, man. that's pretty cool, man. It's almost like a. It's really cool. And then here's Grand Prix. Nineteen sixty nine. It looks like an ice machine. Look at that. I mean, that's, like, that's that's awesome. And you can you can get bags of ice on the back of it. Yeah. I mean, for 1969, I mean, look, that looks like a real dash from a car. It does. It does. I mean, look at the size of that steering wheel. It looks like something yeah. would be on a boat. It looks like a wooden steering wheel, too. I know. That's crazy. You got the dash. It's probably like 1969 dashboards probably really look like that. Look, it looks like it's made out of metal. This whole cabinet's made out of metal. Some of these old arcades are completely mechanical, too. Like, they have this one that uses, like... A little model inside it with like gels and stuff and it looks like you're driving a car but it's all mechanical some of these this old one, arcades are really intricate yeah this one's mechanical i think yeah. the, the fully mechanical the car you drive is on a stick yeah that's the that's what i was talking about yeah these are cool they show this in the movie uh Do, um dawn of the dead they play they play this game a little bit this is the same game so you kind of had to the wait. movie Dawn of the Dead. It's in the movie Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, I watched a video on how these games work. It's in, it's insane. There's like a little model in there of like the track and the yeah. car, and there's like gels, and there's a. It's amazing. It's like we're not voting on the gameplay, just the just the cabinet. And the I, cabinet. I, I mean, 
What a unique cabinet. I mean, this, this is a tough one. Now, if this would have been the last round, I might have to go Grand Prix. But going against Hang On, I don't know. I don't know. I do love this Grand Prix design. That's very unique. I mean, have you ever played one of these in real life? No, but I've seen it before. Yeah, so. I want to play one of these, man. I definitely oh. want to play one. I've not found one of these in the wild, like on my arcade tours yet. Power Drift was coming back, man. We got thir- we ended up with thirteen votes and uh, was Super Sprint seventy seven, Power Drift twenty three. Yeah, thirteen votes. Thanks guys for voting. You guys are awesome voting. Okay, next poll is coming up. Grand Prix versus Hang On. Grand Prix versus Hang On. I got to go with Grand Prix. For a 1969 game, man, that cabinet is just freaking unique. Biggie D says, I don't like that. Doesn't yeah, like what? It's very, very antique retro arcade. Looks like a real card. Dashboard and steering wheel. I know. It's great, man. You can, you know, you can get ice from it, too. Yeah, and back, you just put some ice in there. I don't yeah. know. If that, I guess it's a gas pedal down there below. Down there. I yeah, I think the way the game looks is amazing. And, and after watching the video on how these things work, it's so intricate. You know, it's like a look at that marquee. Huge marquee, man. I don't know. I, I got to go with Grand Prix just because it's so unique. I mean, it looks like a real car dash. It's got all the, you know, instruments there on top of the steering wheel. You look, you got the metal dash, like a real dash would look like back then. Wooden steering wheel. I got to go Grand Prix, man. Ichabod Crane just won the NBA Jam Tournament. Way to go, Ichabod Crane. Ichabod Crane, he will call himself an iArcadian if I ask him because he plays iArcade games. Apparently, he plays NBA Jam pretty good, too. That's awesome. Just won the NBA Jam Tournament. Shout out to Ichabod Crane. He's got a cool little channel. Congrats, man. Does his own show now. He's on, I think, his fourth episode, the Ichabod Show. Did you get anything for winning that tournament? That's the Arcade 1-Up tournament, right? I do believe. There's the Grand Prix, guys. And just hang on one more time. Yeah, Ichabod's a gamer. He's all over the iArcade uh, leaderboards. I need to ask if he plays games. Which cabinet do you like better? Time to vote. Got eight votes right now. We got 13 people in there. Grand Prix hanging on with 12. Ooh, Grand Prix just went up 22 to 78%. 22% Grand Prix. 78% hang on. Uh, gold joystick trophy. Nice. Gold joystick trophy. Big D said uh, it was ran by Retro Gamer Magazine. Retro Gamer Magazine. Congratulations, Ichabod. That's awesome, man. Gold joystick. I bet that looks pretty cool. If you haven't voted, man, go vote. Yeah, go vote. We have Grand Prix 22%. Hang on 78% right now. There's Grand Prix. All white. All white. Yeah. the ice machine. The side art's not the greatest, but man, that freaking front looks awesome. Yeah, the front does look good. And there's hang on. Yeah, the super hang on to me. It looks it looks better. Nah, man. This looks better. That looks better. The marquee, I mean like the marquee, the bezel. Look at the bezel, man. You know, the control panel. You gotta go with Grand Prix, man, all day. All day, right? He is going Grand Prix. I'm going to go hang on. It's right now it's 78 or no, 70 to 30. 10 votes, 70 to 30. I mean, I really thought Grand Prix. Thanks would for go. watching, Arcade Amy. Make a good dinner. Take care. I'm hanging out, but I need to go make dinner. All right. Thanks, Arcade Amy. Thanks for subbing and thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Grand Prix is Sega as well. Yeah. Is that Sega's first driving? Gotta be. Racing game? Gotta be. Gotta, mean, be. gotta be early. I can't believe Sega was around in 1960. Pre video. It's mechanical. 
Crazy. All right, you got 11 votes. We got 11 people in there. End up being hang on 64% and Grand Prix 36. So Grand Prix made a little comeback. But Grand Prix did make a little comeback. You know what you should do that I do when I'm doing the votes? I just copy and paste and then put it in the chat. And then I can put it on the screen for like playback. How do you copy and paste? You just copy and paste from a, uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I think I can oh, do just it. like copy from the, can you copy this thing? Yeah. After the votes completed, I'll do it. Watch. In the poll. In the poll. And then you just change the names or something? No, watch. Now just pull it up. And we'll show what the percentages are. Okay, there it is. It's ended. 63 to 36. Oh, you did do another one. Man, guys, busting my bubble, man. It's in the chat here. Yeah, see it. All right, next round. I'm kind of bummed, man. I thought Grand Prix might win. You guys, like, busted my bubble again, man. Well, we'll click on it and it'll show it to the for the run replay. That way, they can see the percentages. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah. Okay. So next round is Speed Race CL5 versus Outrun. CL5 versus Outrun. Okay. Here's Speed Race, CL5. We got Super Sprint. We got Hang On. We're Look moving at on. Look at that. Can not find gameplay of this, man, except for this. Kind of reminds me of a Speed Spy Hunter. Yeah. Look at that cab, man. Pretty cool looking. It's a cool looking cabinet. Dude, it's look cool. at that side art. It's That's Tido. pretty awesome. Tido. Yeah. What, is that? what year is that? Um, it's from 1980. So it's an older game. It's going against Outrun. Man, Sega had a lot of freaking racing games. It did. I mean, get ready. Sam, 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 Sam says he would have voted for Grand Prix again. <laughs> There's the cabinet again. Remember, we're voting on the cabinets, guys. Not the gameplay. In the cabinets. I thought Outrun was cool. It has all that plastic in the front, like all that shrouding around like the wheel and the shifter. Yeah, the, the uh, speed race is kind of similar though too. Was. I'll show that one again. Polls open. Go vote, guys. Here's speed race again. That doesn't have as much. Pause it right there. Yeah, the hey, green hey. cab does look good. Yeah, I mean the uh, bezel looks awesome with all that green neon green. You got your uh, results, which is really cool, man. It actually shows you the top five. Um, mm -hmm. people right here on the, on the, on the bezel. You got, you got the pull up second, third, fourth. Yeah. So it's cool. It. That it actually, I mean, how many games it actually showed you the results in, you know, first place, second place, third, fourth, and fifth. And, uh, it has, um, low and high gear. And then as, you know, it pretty much has the same, the, um, control deck is almost the same as that one. They're pretty similar. I don't see the pull up. Did you put the pull up? Oh, I don't know. Hit enter. It's not showing up on my on my phone or the or on my computer screen here. There it goes. For some reason it would want me to do a third. There it is. Now it's up. Pulls up. Speed race versus outrun. So speed race CL5, which CL5. Which I, think I really like the side art on that speed race. I would have to vote that one, even though outrun is a classic. Just that side art looks amazing, like green. And then this is Taito, too, from 1980, mm -hmm. which Outrun is from what? Outrun is 1986. 
1980. So that would have been out when Pac-Man was out. I don't think I ever so saw next to Pac-Man in the arcades. Yeah, I love the cool I'd looking. Love, I like Speed Race, man. I, I like the side art. I love the bezel, the marquee. I do like it. I would probably pick Speed Race, even though Outrun is probably a more popular game. But we're looking at the cabinets. We're just looking at the art of the cabinet and the design overall. I can't tell. It definitely has a gas pedal. I can't tell if it has a brake, though. Can't quite tell. Goofy Foot's saying the shifter's on the left side. Yeah. It's just lower high, though. It must be the, must be the European model. <laughs> Be the European model here. Yeah, I mean, but you're only doing low and high. It's not any low and high speed. Yeah, yeah that's all it is. It is kind of different, though, being on the left. You can see there it says low and high. Sam, Sam, saying Speed Race has a lot of detail on the deck. It's cool that they actually show all five position. Who who was in first, second, third, fourth, and fifth? Did I show the game? Yeah, I did show the gameplay. And I imagine what they're showing is results, you know, the um the time, everybody's time. Everyone lock in your votes. Lock in your votes. See, right now we're looking at speed race with 70%, outrun with 30%. Wow. I didn't think it was gonna go that way. You I never know what's good. gonna happen with arcade wars. I mean, we've we've had we've had some games that were surprising, like like Carnival. Oh, Carnival. Man, I love to get that cabinet, man. That thing is freaking awesome. So, of all the cabinets we've done so far, that's probably my favorite one. Carnival so was so pretty unique. looking cabinet, yeah. It's just so unique. Hey, what's up, Ritual Dello is here. Welcome to the chat, Ritual Dello. Welcome to Stream Ritual. Uh, right, Arcade Wars. We're doing Speed Arcade Race. Arcade Wars speed voting race. Speed Race versus Outrun. There's Speed Race there. It's a Taito from 1980. There it is there. And of course, Outrun. Everybody knows. Most people probably know Outrun. So there's Outrun again. <clears throat> Suck music. Get ready. Beep. Classic Sega. Bowl's getting close now. 40, 53% speed run, 47% Outrun. Congratulations. Getting close. Shifter's on the left side on the other game. It's on the right side on Outrun, though. Yep. So there's Outrun. They did make a arcade one up out of Outrun. Have you ever played the arcade one up version? No. Hey. You have it, right? I, I haven't played it. No, I have Ridge Racer. Oh, you have Ridge Racer. You have the Ridge Racer cab. Dude, I like this one. I mean, this is old school, but I would I would so play the heck out of this game. This looks cool. So it's just low, and high, just low and high. Yep. 1980, man. This have been sitting next to Pac-Man in the arcade, time period-wise, for arcade. Yeah. Space Invader. Space Invaders and Pac-Man. I think I like it. I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Speed Race. We're at a deadlock. We're at 50-50. 16 votes. Wow. We got 16 votes. 16 wow. votes. Speed rates CL five. We keep we, we keep we're not giving this the justice. We're like shortening the name. Oh, speed race! It's like CL5. when you say Robotron, you don't say twenty eighty four or whatever. Yeah, true. You don't just say Robotron. I you, you know people. what they're talking about. I call shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. Shenanigans. Nine watch. watching fifteen votes. We got sixteen now. I think this vote is fixed. Yeah, sixteen votes now. So I guess I have to be the tiebreaker, guys. Yeah, so break the tie. Break the tie so we're not sitting here all night. So I'm going to break the tie. I'm going to go with Speed Race. Speed Race, man. So An upset. An upset. Taking out Outrun. So in the poll, 53% to 47. So there it is. Carl Oh said, I voted for the rooster, Rainwater. So there it is, guys. There's the result. Yeah. Speed race, 52% at run, 47 with 17 votes. So the tiebreaker came to me. And I, I went speed race, CL5. Yep. Yeah. See, that's that's how we uh, get out of here, man. <laughs> I'm the tiebreaker. There you go. Outrun's getting blown up. 
Bye bye. <laughs>
Yeah, both of these have those kind of wheels that turn all the, they're like free spinning wheels too on these, which are, which are really cool. Both these games have the free spinning type wheels. Yeah. Off road just has two yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. Pole position just got 22% versus 78% right now, T. Pole oh, position a up a little bit. It's making a comeback. Making a comeback. I love both these. Now, see, this is hard because these are two good ones. Like, these would both move on to the next round if they weren't against each other. But you never know what's going to happen in arcade wars, do you, T? I know. And this, and I, and I don't pick, I don't hand pick them. I use it's a randomized. Little, so yeah, I, I use mean, a spinner. We use, use a, we randomize it so we don't know what order they're going to go against each other. Yeah. Sometimes, man, if I did hand pick them, I would put them, I would put them up against a different cast. Yeah, sometimes you get Mike Tyson versus Glass Joe. But that's what happens when you randomize stuff. I know, because I mean, it makes it more fair. Because I would, man. It, it does make it more fair. It really like ah, I wouldn't be biased towards one. Yes, you would. <laughs> if I wanted to, I would make pull position go up against the easiest ones. Yeah. But who knows yeah, who? It would definitely. It would have definitely taken out some of the earlier ones. Yep. But more randomized makes it totally different. Biggie D says I voted pull position. Nice. 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 Vote still on. Pole position has 30%. Off-road has 70%, T. Pole position has that big forehead. So, yep. It's just like Dig Dug, right? Yep, Dig Dug does that too. Might be the same cab, right? Because, yeah, Atari made Dig Dug, right? So it could be the same cab. Uh, huh? I think they're pretty different. The forehead, though, isn't, though. Yeah, the top is, is, is high like that. Yeah, it's definitely – that part's the same, I know. Got 10 votes. We got 10 people in here. So I guess yep. I go ahead. Call it. Full position, 30% off-road, 70%. Look again. Oh, that's changing. Full <laughs> position, 36%. Off-road, 64%. Change, man. Nice. Yeah, Namco and Atari, Biggie D. I think Atari manufactured it and Namco made the game. But the cabinet was made by Atari. So it's okay. like Atari Namco technically for Dig Dug. I ended the pole, man. Poor pole position. So it's really both. You gonna put the pole in the chat? Yeah, I'll it. do that. Or by pole position. There she goes. She gotta get blown up. Look, ah, real good. It's not blown up. Look, it's back. We can't get rid of it. Back, man. Back, man. <laughs> Need to put a cap kit on that one. Just put a cap kit on it. It'll be good as new. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> also, Pole Vision name co partner with Atari. Okay, so that was the last round. Yep. So, round two. Ding, ding, ding. I, I forgot to put that in there. I don't know if I can do that or not. Oh my goodness. There's your ding ding ding. Oh my goodness. My ears are bleeding. Ding ding ding, motherfucker. <laughs> we got our ding ding. Okay, round two. We got super super sprint, hang on, outrun, and super off-road. Dude, look, 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 look how the vote went. Look, look at how the vote went. See that. All the all the See second that. tabs made it. All, all the second tabs. Everyone that was second won. How about that, all right. I'll do the I'm gonna call right now. Super off road's gonna end up winning this. T, what about super sprint? We're gonna see, but we're gonna see. But that's my my prediction. Super sprint, I'm right. I think somebody copied super sprint. It's right there, man. I gotta call shenanigans off road, copied super sprint shenanigans. So, Super Sprint. 
So what are gonna be the matchups for we got we got two matchups and a final. What's the first matchup? Super sprint versus super off-road. Super versus super. I Which super is better? Super sprint or super off-road? I was gonna battle the supers. Uh, and hang on. And speed race. Yep, versus speed race. Oh, I did do that wrong. I crossed it off speed race, man, instead of out, outrun. What's wrong with me? Okay. Okay. I was kind of hoping those two would go at the, the very end, super sprint and super off-road, but it didn't happen that way. We'll see. Okay. See these two together. There's off-road. Off-road, super off-road. Dude, look at those trophy girls. Yeah. They were well endowed. Yes, they were. I forgot about the cash. You can pick up that cash. Yeah, how can you not love this game? I mean, this 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 game was fun. I mean, I just played this at Waybacks too last time I went. Okay. Definitely Sweet. play it when you see it out in the wild. It's a hard game to keep running. Notoriously hard. Your super sprint. I don't know. Looks like this guy. Another overhead, out. another overhead like track, kind of the slot car kind of thing. You're looking at the whole track. I love these kind of games in arcades. I always play these whenever I come across All them. these games are hard, man. I don't know. It's something about them. I just really like this format. I like this, I think, even more than the ones where you're sitting in the car, like with the 3D view. Yeah. It's just something about it. I love it. It reminds me of playing with like the uh, race car tracks when I was a kid, little slot car tracks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, she won't let me do it. So that one's off road. Or super sprint. Super sprint. Come on, what the, what the hell is this thing doing? Get the boat up. What the hell is this thing doing? I'm seeing double. Yeah, what the fuck the thing is doing? It won't let me move it. Now you kind of get the. There's a comparison. You get the idea. Between. You get that. We saw. We saw both cabs. Let's let's do the oh, boat. There you go. There you go. That's yeah. perfect. You look awful lot alike, man. Yeah, the two three wheel games going against each other. Both cool looking. One has more, you know, the you know the off-road. One's more of a you know racing theme. Sprint cars. Okay. Pole is open. So, yeah, at least you get to see them together. Yeah. Looks like it's uh, no, off-road. The screen looks a little bigger, but it could just be the, the picture. Off-road's coming out have... strong. Oh, someone just voted Super Sprint. Super Sprint, 14%. Off-road, 88%. Looks like Super Sprint's uh, steering wheels are set up a little higher. They're, they're actually, like, on a bracket. Yeah, I mean, this should be a cab. I mean, these have a three have a cab with all the three steering wheel games together would be amazing. Oh, it would be awesome, but you know, Arcade Wump couldn't do couldn't do it. Yeah, I think in I think in Arcade Anonymous, I think GI Joel made one of these cabs. I think GI yeah. Joel made one of these, a modded if, one, of course. If arcade, if arcade went up one to do one of these, they would have to completely redo. Yeah, they're cab. like, oh, someone asked John D. He's like, oh, it has three wheels that would cost a fortune. Like, well. Because you would have to re redo it. I mean, you would have to make the cabinet wider. Yeah. Definitely make it wider. 
taller you want to have to be a little bit bigger screen you couldn't you probably don't want to have a 17 inch screen in a game like this where you're looking down on the track that seemed too small yeah you at least have to go with 20 at least i would say so what do you what monitor you think you're in here the off-road deluxe this will be a good deluxe i mean uh yeah all the ones that are bigger is that the deluxe xl xl this will be an excellent xl cab but you know the XLs are only a couple inches wider. They would even have to go a little bit wider. Yeah, that'd be awesome if they did them, man. I Goofy Foot says it. there is no way, there is no way they would make it. I think Goofy Foot is probably correct. That's what I said too, man. There's, There's no way, no way they will ever make this cab. I mean, they would have to completely. That's change why GI Joel. He didn't wait for them to make it. He made his own. In his background, when you watch Arcade Anonymous, Arcade's Anonymous, look in the background. There's there's a uh, project cab he did, off road themed. Yeah, ten, 10 people in here, seven votes. Go ahead and vote for off road or super sprint. I got both of them up yeah, on the screen. Cast your vote. The chat decides what cab gets blown up. Uh, do, you, do you see both of them are using red, blue, and yellow? <laughs> yeah, see that. They're just in a different order. Different order. Yeah, that's funny. That's what I need to do all the time, man. Put them side to side after I uh, show the little clips. That's kind of cool. We could put up the totals, too. What's that? I said we could put up the totals when we're done, too. Yeah. Oh, did, you do the, did you do that? Yeah, I put it in the chat. You didn't put it up. It's no big deal. doesn't matter. Oh, I still have it. Oh, no. Because I can't select anything on the chat bar. Man, off the road, 86 to 14. Come on, guys. You really hate Super Sprint? 86 to 14. Off-road's a classic. Everyone wants off-road. Super Sprint's classic, too, I thought. I it's played it. Bad. I, mean, I like the game. It's hard, too. Both games are hard, man. Because both I games. Don't, man, I don't think they're that hard. You yeah, always hit those damn sides, man. I know, but that's part of the fun. I just get stuck in those damn corners on off-road, man. I can never get out of it. Hit there. the hay bales. Yep. Yeah, I like both games. Uh, which one I would choose? Which one would I choose? What's the side? See that side art on Super Sprint's pretty cool too. What's the side art look like? Yeah, see, I, I kind of like the side art a little better on Super Sprint than I do off road. But I like the marquee better on off road than Super Sprint. Huh, that's a tough decision. Seven votes, nobody else wants to vote. It's off road versus Super Sprint. If you guys want to cast your last vote, holds on close, close here in a second. We got seven votes, 11 people in here. Can we get a couple more votes for Super Sprint? As you see, Super Sprint side art's a little better, I think. Neither side art is the greatest, but. Last call, last call to vote. 11 people in there, we got seven votes. So now we got eight votes. Off road 75, Super Sprint 25. We got nine votes. Off road 67. Super Sprint 33. Ooh. Super Sprint's making a comeback, guys. Making a comeback over here. Coming back. Can you put them on screen? The camera's right there. All right, Just, guys. Like, gonna, come here. I'm going to end the okay, poll. That's good. That's good. Off road wins over Super Sprint. I can't believe it. Thought... camera's right over there. There's, there's Mario. Come check out Mario. Can you see him? What? Hold it. Hold it up. Oh. oh, there's Mario. Say hello. Cute. It's our official mascot. Nice. Mario's cute. <laughs> Mario. Cool Thank color. <laughs> Mario. It's awesome, man. Thank you. When did you guys uh, get Mario? We just got him, man. We just got him. New addition to the family. 
new addition to the family. Welcome to the family. Yep. All right, I'm going to end the poll. Off-road, 67. Super Sprint, 33. I'm disappointed. Is it time? It's time to blow it up. And you guys are hurting my feelings tonight. No, man. I like the Super Sprint. I think if I would have switched it up, I think these two would have been in the finals. Yeah. Would have switched it up a little bit. Probably would have both made it to the end. There it goes. Woo. She's blowing up good. She's blowing up. All right. Real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that part a lot. Dang, I didn't like that part a lot at all. That's what I'm saying, man. It blew up real good. She blew up good. She blew up real good. And we got Bozo Calvin. Now dance, suckers. Bozo Calvin Jr. in the chat. Dance, Hello, suckers. Bozo hey. Calvin Jr. What's up, Calvin? Okay, last one is Hang On versus Speed Race. Speed Race CL5. There is Speed Race. It's Tito. CL5. Look at that. I love that neon green. Dude, man, it's a good looking cab. Here's the gameplay. Kind of reminds me of Spy Hunter. I like the sounds, too. There it is. Speed Race CL5. Speed Race cool. CL5. Yeah, they restored that thing, man. It looks really nice. It does look good. Whoever's garage that is, man, they did a pretty good job on it, I think. Okay, so there's Speed Race. It's going up against Hang On. Hang On, suckers. Hang On, suckers. Those of Calvin just walked in the door from working oh, a shit, double you guys, shift. You guys didn't get Thank to see you for nothing. tuning in. Hang on. You suckers didn't get to see nothing. I know. You're like you're holding back. So there's hang on. <laughs> back, T. You're not showing my poll results when I'm putting them up either. So there's hang on. Hang going up on. a good speed race. <clears throat> Since you guys didn't get to see Speed Race, and here is Speed Race CL5. There's a cabin I was just talking about. <laughs> go. Yeah, I like that. That is a cool looking cab. It reminds me so much of like Turbo. The kid slid it right in the high right away. So there's Speed Race. Rocking it. Taito. See if I can get this to work this time. No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Ah, what'd I do? I canceled out both. All right. There is hang on. Putting the pole up. There's the, there's the two. Side by side. There you go. Learn something new, man, on our Arcade Wars. Okay. Learn side by side. Okay. Side by side. Pull open. Hang on versus Super or Speed Race. Super. Hang on versus Speed Race. <laughs> Which cabinet do you like better? Is open. Which cabinet do you like better? Make your vote. One of these is about to get blown up. Speed brace is also a fun arcade. Just keep driving until you run out of time. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the 80s were like that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have to extend your time, right? 
Yeah, you hit a point, then you get more extended time. Exactly. Reminds me a lot of Turbo. That barcade where I filmed the walk and talk had a uh, had a uh, super tur- super turbo Sega. Sit down. It, it looks a it? lot like that. Mm-hmm. Movie foot says, "Hang on, just so no, just say no to the mutant turtle racer." The ninja racer. Hang on, just say oh. no to the mutant turtle racer. Are you talking about speed race? Looks like uh, Ninja Turtles in time. No. Which one do you like better, Papa Brad? Hang on or speed race? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against the curve. I'm gonna probably say um, speed race. Believe it or not, just because I like the I like the retro look of it. But hang yeah. on, classic, of course. You know. Yeah, hang on is from 1985. Speed race is from 1980. 1980. Can you guys hear that? Uh huh. It sounds great. Nice, nice. Hang on while I vote for speed race. Nice <laughs> water rain. That's pretty good. Rain waters. That's pretty good. Hang on while I vote for speed race. Yep, I'll say. Hang on, just so, just say no to the mutant turtle racer. Yeah, I think that's what he's calling speed race because it looks like. It does kind of look time. like the turtles in time. It's a close one, guys. It's a close gonna one. Gonna be close. Gonna be close. Ten votes. Speed race sixty. Hang on, forty. Oh, yeah, we can dig it, suckers. Nice cabin. So, in the poll, so speed just, race 60%, hang on 40%. If you just joined the chat, we're doing Arcade Wars. The poll is open, it's against hang on and speed race. The two cabs you see in. Front of which, you there. Which cabinet looks better? The art. Yeah, hang on, man. It's kind of plain. I mean, side art sucks on hang on. The, yeah, you got the motorcycle controls, though. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. You got the brake. If it was that hang on where you lean, I mean, that would have been a no contest because the one where you move the whole motorcycle and you tilt it, that is super fun to play. There's the front. The front, yeah. And it's whenever cool. I see the hang on with the motorcycle, I have to play it. It's just uh, do fun. you know what the do you know what the yellow button in the middle is on hang on? Maybe view. Yeah, it could be. I've only played like one or, or two start. Times. I don't know. They have yeah, it way back. Could just be. I a start played button. it. I didn't play it. I was like, oh, hang on, but I never played it. Where are you they going? Had back so many to- racers. They had so many racers to play. It was like you can't play everything. <laughs> You going back anytime this summer? Yeah, I need to. I need to make another trip back. You have to actually, it. the next tour I want to do, though, is the pinball place. And they just do pinball mainly. Yeah. Calvin, yeah. They made a motorcycle. Hour and a half away. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't. I, I purposely did the stand up one because one of these days we'll, we will get to those ones that you're riding a motorcycle. And yeah, the, the, the Lux ones. Yeah. Maybe go, you know, part of the environment one. Yeah, the motorcycle <laughs> version of Hang On was pretty pretty awesome. Yep. Okay, we got nine people in here. We did have ten. We get ten votes with ten people in here. Now we got nine. So Speed Race wins. Oh, speed Racer. I want to put my vote in. So I voted for Speed Race. So it's 64% for Speed Race and 36 for Hang On. 
11 votes. Nice. Okay, so the finals are Super Off Road in Speed Race. Yep. In the finals. After we blow up, hang on. There you go, hang on. Ooh. There it is, blown up. It's got gone. Oh, real good. She blown up good. She blown up. All right. Real good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like that part a lot. I like that part a lot. Okay, so the finals are Speed Race versus Super Off Road. That's tough. Is my is my voice still echoing? Road rash. Yo, I didn't realize my freaking voice changer thing was still on. Oh, was it? You can't hear my echo. No, I didn't hear an echo. I don't. I didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. I think the chat does. I'm not sure. Rainwater says, end the show. Don't make us vote on these two. Come on. No, we got to vote. We got to vote oh. for the last, the last, the last one. Yeah, because one of these days we will do a finals. Like, yeah, one of these the days winners. we're going to have to take all these and have them go against each other. Yep. All the winners are going to go against each other someday. All the winners. It'll be the ultimate arcade battle. Yep. So here is Super Off-Road. Yeah, this game is awesome. I mean, come on, who's not going to vote for this? This should be a landslide. What? What do you mean landslide? Landslide. It's got the patriotic music. You got the girls. But you get, you got the but cars, you get the girls. What? How are you going to beat that? Speed race. <laughs> Look at that thing. That thing. Speed race just has pretty side art. And bezel. It does. The whole the whole yep. graphic design is cool. Like I would totally play the heck out of that. It looks like it's fun. It's well, got it's the low and the high shifter. Yeah, it's cool. I mean it's unique too because you have the shifter on the left side, then you have actually gives you first place through fifth place, the times. Yeah, the, those kind of games are fun, like that turbo style. <clears throat> I, I don't know any other game that actually gave you the places like that. I mean, the other ones probably did like on screen, but not on the bezel like this does. You know, first place through fifth. Definitely makes that one unique. Yeah, it's got the digital display. Yeah, digital display. Pretty slick. So there it is, Speed Brace. And that was cool. like futuristic in that time. It was like, now we look at it, we're like, eh. Yeah, I mean, 1980. That's kind of cutting edge. I mean, you know, it was, 1980 was a big deal if you had a digital watch. I have a digital watch. I know. What did I do? Okay, there it is. Okay, there they are. Speed Race going up against Off Road. Speed Race versus Off Road. We're going to pull the up. Final countdown. Final countdown. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Final vote. Final vote. Only one can survive. Off Road versus Speed Race. Who will be the victor? Who will be the victor? If I could sway anybody votes, man, go with Speed Race because the side art looks better. Just saying. <laughs> oh, is going to say Speed Race again? Road Rat. Road Rainwater says, I wish that song never existed. Yeah, there is a clip of that song that's not so... I wish that song that's never existed. That's so um, great. Final countdown. I know. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> 
It's got the best intro to that song. Yeah. It's 80s, man. I love it yeah, all. it is. It is total 80s. So listen to 80s music now, man. Who's your favorite band in the 80s? The I'm ultimate. a weirdo. I was all into punk bands, so you probably don't want to know who my favorite bands were in the 80s. All punk yeah, bands. I do. I was in some of the punk bands. I don't know. Motley Crue is mine, man. Crew, love Motley Crew. I like Social Distortion, believe it or not. Nice. Do you have what's his name? They're there? still around. Mike Ness. They're still around. Hard to believe, but yeah, they're still going. Yeah, Motley Crew's still going on too. Yeah, I like that. I like. I like. I like some of those metal bands are great. Motley Crew's cool. God, I saw them. Was cool. Saw them twice in a concert. Great concerts. If you don't like Motley Crue, man, but you like concerts, that's one to go to, man. They put on a show. Yeah. A show. Is that the band that has the Girls, Girls, Girls song? Yep. Girls, yeah. Girls, Yeah, girls. that's a good one. Vroom, vroom. Yeah. And that was a great video, too. Nice video. I feel sorry for Mick Mars, though, man. He has that disease. Big, almost crippled. You ever see Mick Mars? You, you know, he's like leaning over, playing the guitar. Yeah, yeah. I saw back. like a TV. I saw like a movie. Uh, I don't know if it was on Netflix or something, but it was about Motley yeah. Crue. It was really good. Yeah, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I think they're, they're torn. Who are they torn with this year? <sighs> Death Leopard. Yeah, they're touring with Death, Death Leopard. Leopard and Motley Crue. Yeah. They toured last year with Death Leopard too and somebody else. I can't remember. But this year's just Death Leopard and them. They actually uh yeah, both bands bought a private jet together just for the tour. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine having that kind of money? Yeah. Yes, but they were I was watching a video, they were picking what the name was gonna be. Wow. Wow. I think they end up going with Death Crew. First world problems. Naming your jet, yeah, for your for your uh, rock tour. I think they ended up naming it Death Cruise. Death Cru- Now that's a bad idea on a plane. I don't want to get on any plane that has <laughs> death in the name. Death I Cruise. Mean, you're, you're like you're like pushing it. You're pushing your luck. You know, you don't see Boeing making a uh, you know Death Flight three thousand plane. You know, I mean. <laughs> Final countdown. Yep. Rainwater. Toto. I hated Toto, man. Phil Collins, I like. Stevie Ray Ron, I like him too. Phil Collins is cool. Christopher Cross. I don't remember Christopher Cross. Stevie Nicks. Gotta love the gotta love the Stevie Nicks, man. I told you about the Death Flight 3000 project. See, they, they have a Death Flight 3000 project over at Boeing. I don't want to go to an airport near you. Don't think I want to be a part of that one. Yeah. <laughs> at all. At least the Death Cruise was crew is D E F, though, you know, for Death Love. Yeah. It's funny because they actually made a video of it and they flipped the coin. Whoever won the coin toss gets the. They got the name it, huh? That's name it right. Cool. Yeah, it was a pretty cool video. I think it's it's on YouTube somewhere. Pretty sure that's yeah. where I saw it. You remember that show? Um, oh no! Show that... Oh no! Look at the vote. Is it a 50 50? It was. It just flipped though. It just it flipped, huh? Off-road. It was 50 50. It's like, oh no, 10 votes, 50 50. But now off road. See, if I, if I vote, man, I, I can make it 50-50. Yeah. The only thing I remember always think about Def Leppard is um, they were on The Apprentice once, I think. Remember that show, The Apprentice, with Donald Trump? Yeah, yeah I watched the first and, couple seasons. And they were like a notoriously picky band. Like, everything has to be a certain way. And they had this contest where they, they had to basically set up a venue for these two bands and they were like super picky. That's all I remember about them, but you're fired. 
Yeah, I think I watched the first two seasons after that. Kind of got old. Yeah, I don't know. I always liked watching The Apprentice. I don't know why. It was it's reality TV, you know. Yeah, reality TV. All those shows are like that. Survivor, Apprentice. I can't believe it. it's funny, man. Survivor the, after the first Survivor season, is just never going to go away. It's like were they on the three hundredth round of Survivor? It's funny though. I mean, they got busted after the first uh, first season. The the yeah. um, the con you know the people in the contest were sleeping with the um, the crew. Oh, tent. you never heard of that? No, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, after the that. first season, yeah, they got busted. The members on the, the you know the cast members were sleeping with the you know people they were in the production tents and all that. They weren't really sleeping out on the beaches. They were sleeping in tents with the with all the production crew. Yeah, so I guarantee yeah. to this day they do that. <clears throat> they don't really sleep out on those beaches. Yeah. And yeah, all those reality TVs are fixed. The anyway. Real World with Puck was the OG reality TV. Yeah, Real World Puck. Real they actually World. hired MTV. Actually hired Puck after uh, hired Puck. They actually hired him after that season. He was so popular. MTV actually hired him. Puck, I love that. It was. I think that was the second season of uh, Real World. Puck was on. I just I just rewatched that uh, about six months ago. I watched a couple of shows of that with Puck. Dude, I'm so old. I remember when MTV used to play music videos. Yep. It's all shows now. There's, there's no there's no videos. It's all shows. Yeah, well, yeah. And it's so cool, man, because, you know, back in the 70s and before MTV started, you know, people really didn't do videos. Kind of like now, right? People do videos, but they're wow. really not videos. And then MTV come along and everybody wanted to get into it, man. And like everybody wanted to top each other because of MTV. I know. If, I mean, if MTV would come back and do that again. You'd see cool videos again. I know they had. I mean, the videos they made were such big budget videos. To some of them. Hey, what's up, this Jay? Great show, guys. I went and berserk this week on arcade game sales. Two hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure, he got a ton of games though for two hundred bucks with those yeah. prices. I'm sure he got a ton of great games. I mean, that's that's a live. lot with the prices of the games right now. This Jay, if you want to vote, man, it's, we have a poll open. It's um, off road versus speed race. The two cabinets you see. They're going up head to head. and butthead. Dude, I love Mike Judge. <laughs> 12 votes, 50-50. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Beavis and butthead was the stuff. He does them. Who else did he do? Office he does... Space. Office Space. Idiocracy. Office. Have you seen the movie Idiocracy? No. No, that's funny. You need to check that one out. That's a, that's a that's a good rental. Oh, he does the other cartoon show with the guy with the glasses. King of the Hill. It. Yeah, is that him too? Him. Yep, that's him too. Yep, that's him too. He does a lot of stuff. Reality shows ruined TV, and it started with MTV. Goofy Foot knows. He saw it. He saw it happen too. I'm not the only one. Joe Schmo show. Never, never heard of the Joe Schmo show. Those are really good. Reality shows ruined TV and started. Yep, did start with the started with the Real World, right? I think Real World was. Yep, got to be one of the first. Early Dude, ones. I actually, I actually uh, signed up for that Real World. I tried to get on there. So on I was the actually Real World. My, yeah, I was. I was in my twenties. I think it was twenty eight or twenty nine. Actually, yeah, uh, really cool. I went online and did the application and everything. Of course, oh, I never, awesome. got a phone. never got a phone call, motherfucker. No phone calls for the real world. Didn't did not come to my household. <laughs> man, but, but you, I did. you got the you put an application, man. Yeah, I did. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Almost got in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> you probably saw this dude. He's like, nah, boop. See what, let's see what our poll's standing at. <laughs> Got 12 votes and we're at a deadlock. 50-50 speed race and off-road are in a dead tie. SJ says I voted for off -road. We have an even number. We have 10 watching. Did you vote? No, I did not. You, you want me to end tiebreaker? The I'm the tiebreaker, dudes. Are you going to let T be the tiebreaker? Gonna have to because we only make 10 your people vote. Make your vote. I think everybody Biggie, voted. Biggie, did you vote? Did you vote? 
I think everyone that's here voted because there's 10 people here. There's 10 votes. Ding, 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 motherfucker. Oh, my goodness. This video <laughs> is going to get flagged. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Same here. Ah, Goofy was, said he applied for Real World 2 then. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Just call it a tie. You can't get, just call it a tie, man. I, I'm the I'm the tiebreaker. So I guess who wins? Who's winning? Who's winning, T? You get to decide which cab gets blown up. Man, there's so much power in your hands. I know. Power right. to decide what chats go up. The power to decide which game wins. Was a Calvin tie and not to cry anymore. No tie here, sucker, because I'm the I am the tiebreaker. We all know who I'm gonna vote tie for. is gonna come in. Do we know who he's gonna vote for? In the chat. Which one should he vote for? Speed race or off-road? Put it in the chat. Still at 50-50. Ding ding ding, motherfucker! You got the ding 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 in. <laughs> if you not watch, there's a brand new IRCadian show on. Papa Brad's gaming. Ask him for the winner. Going a friend. And I have been doing drive time streams because I'm off. Those are fun to do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll. SJ Miola correctly saying that off road is an arcade classic multiplayer, and off road did not win. Speed race 53%, off road 43%. Off road's a classic too from 1980. There's something wrong with your poll. Like, is, there's not 100%. That's like 99%. What's going on, man? What's going on? I did that 53 the other day. and 46 is 99. So it should be 54 or 46. I don't know why yeah. I did that. I did that with I don't know why it does that. It does Every that. Screen said it does that. It's been doing that. Yeah. Weird. So it really should be 54. Where's Carlos' double vote? I think he had the double vote and he still lost. I know. And Goofyfoot has an interesting icon that is sideways. Yeah, that's what I said. I wasn't sure. At first, I thought that might have been a fake Goofyfoot, but then I looked on my channel and I saw because he's a member and I saw it sideways. So that's definitely Goofyfoot. 99% is correct. That's the way we do vault. That's the way we do our polls over here, Jeff. I don't know why I did that. It's weird. I did it one other time, too. It's almost like I ended it a little too soon. Like it wasn't. Gooey Foots has bad taste, people. Shame. How can Off Road not have won this? I'm still in Speed shock. Race. Speed Race looks awesome. Over Off Road? Yeah, look, it's all over the cabinet, man. Which cabin looked better? Speed race. <laughs> look at the side art, man. Side art does look good. I would totally play that for sure. Then you, then you had uh, digital readout for first place through fifth. There it goes. Get out of here, off road. Get out of there, off-road. Shattering Jeff Rainwater's dreams. You're shattering the man's dreams. Let's, let's do it again. Oh! Uh. Arcade Wars. Oh! We just, we're we're going to rub it in. Up. She blew up real good. Got to rub it in. Rubbing it in the pain, the pain. You're scarring Jeff Rainwater. This is this was his dream to see an arcade one up off road. Never going to happen now. It can't even win arcade wars on arcade on. She blowing up good. She blowing up all right. Real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that part a lot. Right, guys. I love that part a lot. That, See, man. my go he off. He loves that part. He loves that part. He likes when they blow up real good. <laughs> Jeff Waters' faces. 
I hit oh nail. Did, did you catch the beginning of uh did you catch the beginning of uh the Arcadians tea? We had Jeff cutting grass. Yeah, I did. I saw that. That was such a troll. Was so laughing. funny. So funny though. Look like he was like moving really fast too. Dude, he like, he is an aggressive lawn cutter, man. <laughs> I mean, the, like, the original video was like five minutes long. We we cut it way down, but he he was having a good time. Try he was rushing so that he could get to the show. He wanted to watch the show. Wow. So he was good. he was he was putting the pedal to the floor on his lawnmower. That's what was going on. Yeah, that's like I gotta get on. to our kid show. <laughs> I know he's like I gotta I can't miss the Arcadians. You know, he had he had to cut his grass though. So I mean, he's multitasking. But uh, I don't have to. I don't have to cut grass here. Have a little fun. Hell, we don't have to cut grass here, man. Our grass is dead already. The grass is dead. It's brown. Still brown. And we haven't had rain in a month almost. Carlo, your grass brown over there. <clears throat> Dude, you got a refrigerator right beside you. Look at that. You don't even need to get up and go anywhere. Oh, it's literally right. just right beside you. Yeah. Sneak in that refrigerator right beside you. You saw Making that? Making yourself a drink. And guess what, what color drink in you there? Up? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Yeah, I'll show you. I'm drinking some good old vodka. Platinum 7X vodka. That looks good. With my Propel flavored water. Some flavored yes. water. Okay. No carbs in this. No all. carbs. That's healthy. No calories, no carbs. No calories and no carbs. Yep. I still can't get rid of my freaking gut. Yeah, I've given up. So it's gotten smaller, man. Yeah. I don't look like I'm pregnant anymore. <laughs> but well, that's good. That's good. It's all freaking there, man. Can't believe you see my fridge. Guess what color my fridge is? Silver. Nope. What color do I like, man? Green. Neon green. It's neon green for real? Yep. There it is. You can see a little oh, bit yeah, it is there. neon green. Check that out. That's crazy. I've never seen a neon green fridge. It's like Kermit green. Yep. Kermit it's, the frog. It's pretty neon. It's dark. It's more neon than the camera's picking up. But Yeah. It's not easy being green. Yeah, you really can't That's Kermit. That. Yeah, my wife got that for me uh, for one, one Christmas. You dug up there. Yeah, Carlo, you did miss Mario. He came on for a brief appearance. He's playing Miss Pac-Man. Yeah. AB, ABC V-Pin and Matt Mania. Did you show uh, Mario last night on the stream or was it a video? No, no. No, I haven't shown him on the Arcadians yet. But yeah, I got the uh, Friday night arcade show coming up tomorrow night. That should be fun. And we're doing uh, where you can be able to play against uh, any of the people that are on on the screen. So we're just gonna play against the community. Oh, is that what you're gonna do tomorrow? We're gonna be setting up. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're playing one of my favorite games, Heavy Smash. It's kind of like a, a futuristic sports game. It's amazing. It's really fun. And we're playing that online tomorrow. We're playing um. He has a really good list of games we're playing. Uh, we're playing the the, the uh, baseball game. It's a lot of fun. Stadium Heroes 96. Yeah, I saw you did a little commercial for it. Yeah, it's awesome. You made like a like an Olympic commercial. Yeah. <clears throat> I always do a commercial for this one, man, but I always do it too damn late, I think. I think your commercials are awesome. I always love the commercials. The commercial came out pretty close to the show. I know, man. I probably get more mileage out of it. Came out like a day or two before, but it's still great. I love the commercials. The commercial. I always look forward to when you drop your commercial for the show. And I was like, I'm looking. I'm like, dang, hey, it's only two hours away. It's like I just did this a long time ago. I need to do it the day before. And I, now, now I'm just gonna have to vault that PlayStation Two video too. That'll be our next show, probably. Yeah, that's our next show. Oh, so, you know, we had guests, so always, always, always make the guests feel comfortable. Yeah, because uh, originally Phil was only going to be on there for 30 minutes. So I figured out oh, we'll do them yeah. for 30 and then PS2. Did you make your video too for the PlayStation 2 episode? Yep. It's all, all I only did five, Yeah, I did. Top I couldn't five. limit it to five. I mean, I, I started like when, when, when I was slimming down the PlayStation 2 games. I mean, I think I had like 30 games. And I'm like, I, I mean, that's like it was hard just to, I want 10. 10 was tough for me. 
I mean, I didn't realize I really loved the PlayStation 2. I mean, I played so many games on it. When I started looking at the library of all the all the games I've played, you know, just there was a ton of good games on the PlayStation 2. Greenwater says, isn't every drink technically flavored water? Yeah. Especially top if you drink it yeah. Top 10 games down to three minutes, under three minutes. Under three minutes. Oh, dang, mine's is like six minutes. I only got did I didn't under get three minutes. It's great. I love it. I came out for. Oh, I'm happy with the edit. So we can't wait to yeah, premiere it on the show. City. It's my favorite. Vice City. It's gonna be interesting to see if if uh, all of our games repeat. Like if we pick the same ones. I bet we don't. Do you have Vice City in yours? I'm. We gotta wait for the show. I mean, right. look, look, I got a stack. These are a stack of my favorites. Look at this one. Who remembers this? Guitar Hero. I mean, I loved Guitar Hero. Did you play Guitar Hero a lot on the PlayStation? Never played it. Guitar Hero 2, man. Did you have that? Guitar Hero was amazing. Did you actually have the guitar too? I had I had multiple guitars. Dang. We, we would play it two player. And then, you know, this game, this game I'd love. No one ever talks about Pinball Hall of Fame. Pinball, wow. Pinball Hall of Fame. This has this has a bunch of great pinball tables on it. And it's on the PlayStation 2. Now, Don't be giving I, this, I played this all the time. Don't be giving out all your top tens, man. These aren't my top tens. These aren't my top tens. Oh, they're not? Just showing I still have some PlayStation stuff just sitting it's, around. I was saying sitting yeah. around. Just sitting around. What are those? What are those? Oh, that's all the Grand Theft Autos? I got them all. Man, when I started when I started looking at the list, I was like, man, I I, I played so much PlayStation 2. I couldn't believe how many games were on there that like I just forgot were so awesome. But PlayStation 2 was a strong, strong um library of games. Like I said, yeah, I, I think my initial thing, I had like 30 games. It was ridiculous. I was like, I have to really limit this down to get to 10. So I went just like by category, you know? It's like I need a fighting game. I need a racing game, you know, and then I need a couple of adventure games, you know. He had so many great things on there. Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid, Resident, Resident Evil. Evil I mean, so much good content was on PlayStation 2. Yeah, I was when shocked at the games. Just Resident like Resident Evil being on there. I was like, dang, that was way back then. Yep. So I guess well, it's, it's we'll shelf it for the next show, but the next show, we're gonna get all geeked out about PlayStation 2. I I know I'm excited about it. I have to pull out. I have a modded PlayStation 2. It's like crystal. It's like a see-through machine. It's completely see-through. It's like a clear plastic. That's awesome. I need to pull it you out. Show it on the next. It up. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. show it on the next show we do. I'll, I'll get it all set up and make some videos of it. Yeah, I, I still got a. I still got a PlayStation 2. You could it's hack some... it. Like it's hacked. It has a mod chip, and you could play all the games on the hard drive. It, it runs all the games off of a computer hard drive. Yeah, believe it or not, I never bought a PS2. Um, I was dating this one girl when my son was like seven, eight, nine years old. Mm. And her daughter had a PlayStation 2. And she went off to college. And she's like, hey, do you want this? My daughter don't play it anymore. I'm like, sure, I'll take a PlayStation 2 with a yeah. whole bunch of games. I think she has like 30, 40 games. And uh, that's how I ended up playing it. Next girlfriend's uh, gave it to me. For free. Yeah, for free. That's the right price. I know. Yes, I Biggie it. D. God of War and God of War 2 are PS2 games. Yep. God of War. So, yeah, I, play, I played a lot. Edo Classic 1 and 2 is the reason my PS2 is still hooked up. Mm -hmm. And me and my son played uh, GTA a lot. Yeah, at one time I had all my retro consoles hooked up. Then when I moved, I packed them all away and I never took the time to unpack them all and reset them up. You know, it's so much work. Yep. You have a ton of retro consoles. I did hook up my Dreamcasts in my uh, Atari, though. But I have so much more I could be using. Yeah, I, I need to get to a thrift store, man. I keep saying I'm going to do it. And then weekend comes, I always forget about it. Yeah. I might try to chase down the, the on Facebook Marketplace. There's this woman near me. She has an Atari 2800. A 20, not a 2600. 2800. 2800. And, and and she wants like 40 bucks for it. And like on uh 
Hmm. So I looked it up. I never heard of it. I looked it up on eBay. It's like they're going for like 600 bucks. Really? It's a Japanese Atari 2600. Wow. I've never seen one. Yeah. I don't think she knows what she has either. I'm, wow. I'm going to have to look into that probably tomorrow. She might think the weekend. I might have to scoop that up. The Atari 2800. Especially if you, uh, you turn around. And, and she has it. she has another Atari she's selling too. It's probably just like an angry girlfriend or wife. There's another Atari that she has for sale. It's a Darth Vader Atari where it's all black. It's the totally black version of Atari. We like when I was kids, we called them the Darth Vader Atari because it's all everything's black. I don't have a Darth Vader Atari. I might buy both of them. She has them. Dragon Slayer Trilogy on the Wii plays amazing and is arcade authentic. Cool. I, I didn't think that came out for the Wii. I thought it was the. It came out for the Wii. Do you have a Wii? Did you have I a Wii? Did. I, I did. did. My Wii broke. Mine did the, too. Uh, the uh, it just stopped working one day. It's just like not working anymore. Yeah, my laser the descent uh, and nothing happens. Yeah, it probably did the same thing as mine. The laser stopped. Like yeah. it would spin. It doesn't. Mine would spin. It, doesn't it doesn't read the games. Yeah, that's what mine did yeah. too. I took it apart and uh, and uh, you know put a disc in and uh, yeah the the laser light never came came on. It's like yep, this thing's junk. Yeah. <laughs> Worst part, I had a modded Wii too. It had a mod chip in it and everything. I play burn games, but now it's now I have all these burn games and no way to play them. But there's probably other ways to play. Now you could probably play a Wii games on your computer. The emulations oh, yeah. become so good yeah. anymore. Like stuff, think, you know, they can emulate stuff really well. I think a lot of the Wii games you can play on the Switch. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, we, that was the first uh, console I bought for my son. Was the, was the Wii? Yeah, it didn't make the move. It just didn't work. So I used to love Wii Sports. That was a fun game. Yeah, that was fun. really fun. I love Wii man, Sports. I almost Such a good game. You can play uh, Wii Boxy one night, man. It was so hot in here. Yeah. I almost passed out. <laughs> I, was, I know those games are addictive. So I, I got tennis elbow playing Wii tennis. Crazy. Yeah. I like wore myself tennis elbow up. for real. Man, I was like, I told my son, like, man, I gotta, I gotta sit down, man. I'm getting a little dizzy I still over got here. A ton of cool modded. I got a modded GameCube. It plays burn discs. You hook that up. GameCube had really good versions of the Resident Evil um, games. Resident Evil Four, one in the original. Um, they had they had quite a few good Resident Evil games on the uh, GameCube. Yeah, I never never played the GameCube. For a long time, man, I didn't play any uh, video games. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was in the military, and then afterwards, and then I went from twenty six hundred to Nintendo. To Nintendo, and yes. And all I what you got on going that, on? Are you dropping any ARC content? I know you've been dropping some videos. How are those yeah, doing? I've been dropping ARC content for the last four days. Because I know, I creature. saw that. I keep seeing it come up. You know, new creature came out. Called, a lot of people uh, don't know you have like a huge channel. This is like this is like the side piece. This is this like is the side favorite. piece here. This is this is the tiny <laughs> channel. He has a big <laughs> channel. You, you channel. Know, don't don't kid people. How many subscribers you have on your main channel? Uh, I think I got about, about eleven. Eleven thousand. Yeah, no, just eleven people. Eleven people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just shy. <laughs> I want a seventy-eight hundred too. I can't find one. I've been looking for one. I can't ever find him. I think sometimes that's why this. I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay like hundreds of dollars for it either. I mean, I want to pay it like a reasonable price. I want a real seventy eight hundred. I totally. I want one. I'm on the look. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a few things I want for my Atari stuff. I want. I want. I want a seventy eight hundred because you can play the twenty six hundred games and the the seventy eight hundred games. Um, and I want this game called Hero. I have not been able to find. It's an Activision yeah. title. Hero. But it's a great game. That. It's a great game. Oh, it's really? just hard to find. I, ha- I think I have almost all of the Activision cards except for that one. Thank you, Biggie D. Congrats on 2K. Yep. Uh, that's right. That's a game that you were talking about when we were doing Atari games that you wanted. Yeah, it's like you have like a helicopter jetpack on. And you're you're basically go through you know the different levels. You got to help uh, get to the bottom. There's like someone you rescue. There it is. 
Ah, this one don't have no sound for some reason. Oh, there it goes. There's Hero. Yeah, I'm on the hunt for that game. TM, this is your best channel. Then. Biggie D. Biggie D is in the home stretch, T. Biggie D's in home stretch. 909 subscribers. If you have not subscribed to Biggie D, now that's four G's. Four G's in that Biggie D. I, I have four. got it memorized. It's four G's, so I don't misspell it every time I type it. But go subscribe to Biggie D's oh. arcade. It's just Biggie D. Biggie D's arcade. Congrats on 2K, Papa Brad. Nine to one to go. Yeah, funny. Uh, uh, he's in the home stretch to, to get monetized because once you hit that thousand, you can monetize if you got the hours, 4,000 hours. But he does live streams. If you live stream, it's not so hard as long as you're doing live streams. If you don't live stream, that's a lot of content. Yep. I'm putting a link in the chat. Not subscribed. And of course, subscribe to this channel first. Subscribe to Arcade Talk and Star Wars Review. We need to get we need to get T up to 500. That's our goal for now. We gotta get we gotta get this channel to 500 subs. Yeah, it's been it's, a, it's been a slow road, man. Slow road. I think sometimes, man, because I had my other channel linked to this one. I think some people are like, well, dude, you got eleven thousand on your other channel. I don't I'm not gonna subscribe to this one. Yeah. Word, that's what some people think. I know. It doesn't matter. Some people, it is, man. I mean, they, 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 some people have a hard time hitting the like button, too. They act like it's going to hurt them or something. Ah, can I hit the like button? It's going to hurt you. Oh, it ain't going to hurt you. Hit the like button. It's okay. <clears throat> Sam Sam's uh, YouTube. I typed, I typed Sam Sam's Arcade, and then I got Biggie D. It says... Sam's arcade one up liquidation is what pulled up in my in my window. You're you're definitely optimizing right, Biggie D, because you, you just pulled up on that search. What am I doing wrong? Why isn't I pulling it up? Carlo oh, has subscribed. Carlo, I'll put it up. Can you pull it up for me? Sam, put it put a link in the chat for Sam Sam. He did. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. I think it is. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. Sam Sam's arcade. Okay. Just like you'd think yeah, Steve Rainwater said one time I hit the like button, my leg fell off. See, that's what people were scared of. I know. I mean, when you have a when you have a peg leg, you know, I mean you gotta be careful. Hitting that like button's dangerous. I know. It's like SJ, I, I helped Biggie D out, man. I subscribed yesterday. I thought I was already subscribed to him. I will go. I think I'm subscribed twice. I think I subscribed with my Papa Brad's account. I think I did subscribe with the iArcadians too. So I think I'm a double subscriber to Biggie D. I, I swore. had more. I'd do more, but that's I have only have two two uh, YouTubes. I swore I was subscribed to Biggie D, but I went over to then I wasn't. But I am now. So. Yeah, you you got to ask because people forget, you know. Well, I really thought I was so. But I know, I mean, it happens to me. I mean, people tell me all the time on my other channels, like, dude, I was subscribed to you, and then all of a sudden, I wasn't. And this one girl, her name is Christy Nichols, I think. Uh -huh. She's subscribed to me. She's been following me for, I've been doing my other channel since 2017, and uh -huh. she's probably been around since 2018. She That's had, but the thing is, she's, she's had to subscribe to me three or four times in that time period. Because of she, YouTube. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know what happened, but I'm not subscribed to you anymore. So, I mean, I know what happens. And she's not the only one, but it does yeah, happen. weird. Sometimes the algorithm just goes wacky. I don't know if they do it by mistake because, you know, they're getting rid of, like, you know, when channels get deleted or um, go inactive and they delete them. If you get mixed up into that somehow, I don't yeah. know. But she ain't the only one that told me that on my other channel. I've had He's, and he has a big show planned for Sunday. I can't wait. Sunday. Always like to catch Biggie D live. Yeah. See, I haven't seen him live yet, man. Sundays is a bad day for me, though. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday is a lot of shows on. Yeah, I don't. I I try to chill out on Sundays. Yeah, my wife tells Take me the day off. YouTube. My wife's always saying you're doing too much YouTube. I hear you. You're up in that game game room all day and all night. It's like. 
most of the time when I'm watching uh, the Arcadians and uh, Brooklyn's, uh-huh. I'm downstairs on the couch watching TV. Yeah, yeah. So a lot, a lot of times I have the voice or you know the volume down. Yeah. Well, when you put in the work, you get the subscribers. That's how it works, though. You know. Yeah. Well, I know. It's the way it works with YouTube. Yep. I think we had so, a great show. Two channels, man. It's hard. It's hard doing two channels. It's a pain. In- Actually, I have three channels. Mm. Uh, if any, most people don't know, I, I I've never plugged it, um, but there's a website called Fruit Lab that oh, I'm part cool. of. I have seventy six thousand subscribers on that cha- on that uh, platform. What? Wow. Yep. Um, and what that is, I need to really tell people about it sometime. <clears throat> Do a video on it. You make money watching videos and making videos. Oh, okay. So you can actually make money by watching other people's videos. Huh. It's pretty cool. Now, of course, you don't cool. make a whole lot. Um, I've been up there for three years. I made over a thousand dollars now. Okay. I think I'm at a thousand. Slow trickle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like average. What I do like normally is um, I watch the because they have like a counter. Uh huh. And um, they tell you, you know, you can only watch so many videos a day. So the counter tells you when you hit 100%. Uh-huh. And then when you hit 100, you can't watch anymore. You can watch videos, but you won't make any money. Um, yeah. I always just hit 12%. Is there certain make, types of videos you have to watch? Like, nope. No, you watch yeah, anybody. You can watch anything. Interesting. Um, I make over $3 a day by watching 12%, which 12% of the 100% is probably maybe – See three, six, probably like eight videos, and I make three dollars a day. It's not bad. Not too bad. No, and I'm only doing twelve percent. Just think if you did a hundred percent every day. But I mean, if yeah. anybody interested, um, I could drop a link because if you use my link, I make like five hundred. Um, I don't, I don't know what it is anymore. No, it's five. You make five pips. Their currency is called pips. It's actually, uh-huh. they're actually selling that as a Bitcoin now. Uh, uh, does it translate to real world money though? They send you real world money. Yeah, because okay. they're they're on the Bitcoin platform uh, now. Bitcoin. You know Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin yeah, I've too. heard of Bitcoin. Well, they're they're it's not Bitcoin they're part of, but they're part of one of those Bitcoin mm. types. So yeah, you can transfer your money into real world money now. And the the thousand dollars I have is real cash, real money. So, but it took me three years to get that thousand dollars, but. Mm. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool website. And, and I've never plugged it ever. Even on my other channel, I never plug it. Yeah. But it's really cool. I mean, it's, it's, it started out as a gaming platform, but now you can post pretty much anything. But, but anybody is ever interested in uh, joining Fruit Lab, let me know because I could drop a link. And if you use my link, you make, I think you get $3 and I get $5. Okay. So like but it's pretty good. They've been around for, like I said, like three years. They actually came to me when they first. Oh, Fruit Lab? Yeah, Fruit Lab, yeah. Huh. And they actually came to me on my other channel because they were looking for you know content creators. So, they, of course, they were uh, robbing YouTube content creators. But they were looking for smaller yeah. content creators. You know, At, at the yeah. time when I signed up for that, I think it was around 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. So they were, they were kind of looking for the middle road. That size, uh, channels. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think I started like maybe three, four months um, when it began that platform, and they're still yeah. around. Like I said, they, they're actually like a Bitcoin type now. They're actually on a, the Bitcoin stock exchange. So it's pretty, pretty neat. So I actually have three channels going. It's tough, man, doing all the awesome. Things. But the thing I do with Fruit Lab is I don't make new content over there. I yeah. just whatever content I do on YouTube, I put over there. Yeah. Just, copy it over there but which is cool i mean it's a totally new audience and i'm actually a partner over there okay and each well, at least right now as a partner they give you five dollars a week for free uh-huh. every tuesday man they put my account five bucks my account. goofy foot says is it a pyramid site is this like nah. a pyramid scam nah, it's, it's, like, it's like a different browser you watch it's like youtube but it's a different yeah. thing called fruit. Yeah. Fruit lab. Yeah. They're, it's they're like actually, YouTube huh? where you watch videos on it. Yeah. Yeah. They're, and they're actually connected to Twitch right now. 
Um, okay, so connected so, to Twitch. Okay. Yeah, they, they partnered up with Twitch a couple years ago. So when you're live on Twitch, it actually tells you on Fruit Lab that you're live on Twitch. Okay. Um, they do it automatically. Yeah, so it's Fruit not, Lab is like Twitch is like live content mostly, and Fruit Lab's like pre recorded videos. Yep. Okay. It's kind of like YouTube in a way. Well, YouTube before without, YouTube. Without the live. live streaming. Yeah. So live I, don't streaming ever, I don't know if they ever do live streaming or not. Now that they're um, probably not connected to Twitch, with that format. Feel, yeah, they probably feel like they don't have to because they wouldn't have to if they're connected to Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Carl Lowe's going to co house uh, door to door and sell Amway products. <laughs> now, you guys, you should check it out, man. You don't have yeah, to make we'll videos to make money, streams. man. You don't have to make videos to make money. You can watch other yeah. people's videos and make money. I mean, I'll be on Friday night arcade show tomorrow night. And Saturday, there might be some uh, fight cade action going on that I might be participating in. So we will see. Right. We will see. You're always streaming now, man. Since summer came around, I got nothing to do. Time. It's like, uh, give me something to do. Thanks yes, for watching, know. everybody. Biggie D, make sure you go subscribe to Biggie D. Make sure you've subscribed here at Arcade Talk and Star Wars Review. And I'll be seeing probably some of you tomorrow night. But thank you so much. Thanks, everybody, for uh, hanging out with us. We got what, five care. people still in here. Thanks, Carlo. Same as Jay. Thanks, Goofy Foot. Thanks, Biggie D. Thanks, Rain Waters. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Goofy Foot. I don't think I said that. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. Thanks for uh, voting on Arcade Wars. I know you. Absolutely. The outcome wasn't what you thought, but. Hell, uh -huh. almost every week. <laughs> yeah. The outcome is never what I think. It's never what I think it's going to be. I'm crazy. Yeah. And I really, as always, stay, I really stay legit. legit. And legit. can you take us out with Darth Vader? We have a request to be taken out with Darth Vader. Uh, I wonder who that was. Take us out Darth Vader style. <laughs> We're legit over here, suckers. That's right. Welcome to Rebel Spawn. In the army, you joined us. You know, it's your best to leave. Welcome to another Arcade Talk live stream. So sit back, you rebel scum. And may the fourth be with you. T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk live stream. Now we hear you got on the string And you're looking